Yo. Holy shit! <laughs> Well, today's been a day. That's for sure. Um. Ooh. Let me change this title. Okay. Well, I think we're finally going to do it. It's been a little while. It's been a little while since we've done Unity stuff. Mm. Now, I had a big list of games. I do. I do have a big list of games, along with, I think there's actually an entire new game jam, but maybe we'll get to that another day. I have, uh... That's not the chrome I want you to look at. I want you to look at the other one. This one. Okay, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. I can't really show you just half of this, can I? Oh, unless I do this. Kind of. This shows a little bit of <laughs> some of the list of ones that I've seen that looked interesting. So, potentially trying out some of these guys today, though not part of an actual. Uh, not part of an actual. I mean, I assume they are part of an actual game jam, but not in terms of like um, a new one or anything. Just like other ones that I I looked through a while back and I was like, oh, that looks interesting, or this one, or that one, or whatever. I have to admit, I do want to kind of finish eating before I go into the games just because then that'll be annoying. Me crunching around and stuff. So, in the meantime, we can uh, look at a PIL or something, right? So this, boom. This guy, <laughs> I saw on Reddit today. And uh, if you don't know, this is kind of alluding to the trend that's been going on since at least Gen 6, I would say. Probably at least Gen 6. That a lot of Pokemon, but especially starter Pokemon, are like no longer monsters <laughs> and they're always turned into humanoid things that's very annoying very annoying and I don't like it I don't like it at all what did he actually do Havens that's what I don't get 
I saw you say like what it could be, but I didn't have time to actually read what it says he did. If it even said anything, that's just the charges. Now the charges are... So... Disseminating matter harmful to juveniles and an attempted endangering. So the first half, the dis... dis... Disseminating... Spread. Spreading matter harmful. Like, that could be anything. I mean, you could have said back in the 90s that was like Eminem giving the middle finger on the TV or something. You know, like, 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 that could be anything. So I don't necessarily care about that part too much. But the endangering children one, that one was a little bit more, uh, ew. that one's a little bit more, ew. if you're wondering what I'm talking about, let's pull it up. Drake Bell has been charged in that place with disseminating, disseminating matter harmful to juveniles and attempted endangering children. Yeah. Drake, where's the defense attorney? Whoa, just take it easy, man. True. Apparently happened in 2017, but now being formally charged. So if it was anything of interest, then it would probably be... No wow, it's trending? That's crazy. Mm, hold on. I don't want to have anything pop up. Victim 15 filed a report in 2018. That's just people making meme jokes, it seems like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. I, I don't know what it would be. It's very mysterious. I feel like if there was something that happened all the way back then, we would know about it by now. But... Mm. That's not necessarily true. Held a concert in Cleveland in 2017, currently faces charges for alleged incident that occurred at the concert. He violated his duty of care and in doing so created a risk of harm. Prior to the concert, he allegedly sent victim multiple inappropriate message. Oh. He's been charged with attempted endangering children, not entered a plea, guilty plea, freed on 25 whatever bond, no contact with the victim. Yeah. Victim 15 filed report in 2018. 15 when the, it was 2018? Or 15 in 2017? Or 15 now? <laughs> Those are pretty... Interesting. The social media part is not a good sign. I'll say that. I'll say that. Looks to be more clarification. Yeah. Victim was 15 during the time of filing the report. So that means in 2017 they were 14. Likely. I mean, depending on the months, technically could still be 15, but whatever. It doesn't really. That doesn't really matter. Ooh, that could be a little. That could be a little problematic. Hmm. Okay, okay. Drake was supposed to be the nice one. Well, Josh was like... Wasn't it just that Josh, like, hated Drake for a while, but then they in the past few years made up or whatever. Well, 
Or has Josh been doing shitty stuff? I thought he turned it around. Wasn't hate grown distant? Oh. I mean, sure. Josh was known to be a bit of a dickhead. Yeah. I, I remember kind of that idea, but I thought it was in relation to Drake, but I guess not. Hmm. Okay, okay. The lore. He's like, he got like really fit, right? Or maybe not really fit, but he certainly got not fat. I remember that. I remember that much. Yeah, yeah, he, he's slimmer now for sure. Yes, precisely. Precisely. <sighs> well, today's the last day before it's gonna get stupid hot. Today is, today's still been on the warmish side, but not like crazy hot. And then tomorrow it's gonna be like 90. And then 90, and then 90, and then 90, or like 90 and above. Oh, David Dobrik, e All I know is that like that one thing where he like tricks someone to get kissed or whatever, and it was really not consented to and stuff. No, Dobrik did something like that too, though. Didn't he? That's like literally the only thing I've ever heard about that guy. So I'm Never buy Amazon basic audio cables. Like extension ones, they're absolute trash. They just like slide out. What I was saying was, this tweet popped off. Well, popped off for me, at least. And then uh, in terms of Twitter sphere, not really. But I also knew enough to know that uh, It wasn't popped off enough to do like a subtweet below, you know. Check my uh, SoundCloud, right? So I knew I knew I knew that much that it wasn't big enough to do that, so I didn't do that. But yeah, he had a new special that came out like a week or so ago. Oh, it's kind of missing the whole spike. Uh, yeah. And so when this part came on, I was like, oh, that's going to be the easiest tweet of my life. There's no way that people aren't Googling that. And there we go. There we go. How did I know? Uh, let me go put this bowl back. And then maybe we'll actually play games or something. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of down to just lay on the floor, if I'm honest. <laughs>
So. <clears throat> Here's how today went for me. I had to wake up early and then immediately, immediately be ready to bike. Because every other Friday, meeting from noon to one, because that's that's a something that makes sense to do on a Friday. That's that's a nice thing to do. So yeah, biked in the morning for an hour. I don't even know what I did. I put something on the screen to make noise while I was doing that. Um, then shower, blah, 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 work. Then after that, stand up at nine. After that, immediately get into a call with like my fucking mentor guy or whatever you want to call him. The guy that's sort of advising me advisor mentor whatever you want to call it from then which was like 9 20 straight until 12 we were in a call the whole time the whole time and while i didn't have to have the webcam on i was sharing my screen the whole time so it was basically like someone looking over your shoulder and talking to you so that was terrible <laughs> But we got some stuff done, which was good. Then, the meeting 12 to 1. I don't need to have webcam on. I'm not going to talk during this meeting. Finally, get like a breath of... I'll eat my sandwich. Kind of zone out. Except not really, because I was like checking... Emails and whatever. Then it becomes like 115, 120. Boom, back on the call with advisor guy. Back in the call with advisor guy. Fuck. In that call again, continuously, the whole time until four. <laughs> four o'clock, afternoon stand up thing, which we already know I all hate. And then boom, from there, writing out some notes to send to him. And now all of a sudden, it's like five. It's, it's 5.50 now. I don't even, I don't even understand. It's insane. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes fucking sense, but it doesn't always have to. It doesn't always have to make sense. Speaking of that, I'm gonna pause the music. In other news, you bought a hedge trimmer for the first time. Like the ones where you hold with two hands and it's like, like one of those, or do you mean like a, I assume that's what you mean, right? Or do you mean like a ch 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 one of those? Cause those are slightly different things. Oh, I've already played that game. I right, delete that. Or, well, don't delete that, I guess. Done. Done that one, I've done Dreambox. battery powered usually you have to plug them in so you mean like this right because this is what I'm picturing this is what I'm picturing Nice. Yeah, that, that that would be a pain in the ass. That would suck. Oh, shit. Alright, well. This game, I'm terrified. Alright, anyway. <laughs> okay, let, let's, let's actually get into things, right? Let's actually, uh, let's actually get into things a little bit here. So. Today. Today. Oh no, let's start it over again. Boom. Today. I've been uh I've been doing some perusing. Gathering up a new list. Not going by a game jam rankings, just choosing what I see looks like it might be interesting based off the uh thumbnails and, and well, this one looks like a doozy, I gotta tell you. This one looks like a fucking doozy. What is this i don't know but there's a lot of explosions and we're gonna find out so 
Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's let's do that. Let's first pause, unpause, whatever. Uh, let's look at a. Uh, let's actually look at the directions here. Okay, arrow keys are watched. Jump space, weak attack, Z single press, strong attack, attack presses Z length. Five types of weapons, each with a weak and strong. Okay. First is equipped with a guide rod. This is an action game where you control the player to open a parking lot. Cards will come into the parking lot, so destroy it and open the parking lot. If the player receives damage even once, the game is over. If you destroy the car, you will get a score. You can tweet the score. Okay. First off, unmute. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get this crop in. Okay, you know the drill. First, uh, actually, I need to, uh, I guess do the right thing and ping the Discord, right? Do that. I assume that the top button is the one I want to go for. What is it? Arrow keys or WASD? Okay. Arrow keys or WASD? Clicking this does not seem to do anything. Oh, what? Okay. I don't know what that is then. What? Okay, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's like so much delay between when I press the... Between one? Oh my god, that was such a laggy thing. Okay, I guess I should have seen that coming. Wait, me bouncing into that one killed it? Holy shit. Okay, let's try that again, I guess. Okay. I, I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to be hitting these fences off or not, but Okay, so strong attack is good because it sends the car off the side. Okay. Okay. Weak attack maybe gets me more points or something. Seems like sending cars off only what is this? What the f Uh oh. Oh god, there's too many cars. That is a straight up tank. Wait, let me get the let me get this weapon. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where are these gun where are these shots coming from? It's very uh confusing figuring out the timing on the uh oh my gosh. Oh I died. Wow, this is chaotic. Okay. I'm gonna turn this down, because that's loud. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna mention off the bat here is that uh there is like omega delay between um what why, what is this what is this thing popping up I'm just clicking on the screen uh there's like super delay between pressing the attack button and then an attack actually ha what, why is there so much noise please stop okay that's the tweet one. Um, there's like so much delay on the swing. I 
think I want to knock off this, the fences. It also seems like, uh... Yeah, like, I pressed that so long ago. It's really weird delay. What the fuck? Where did I go? Wait, I'm back here now? Holy... Oh, the camera is freaking out, huh? Okay, so heart attacks seem to be, like, the only real move to do because it knocks people over. And that seems like the best thing to do. You kind of, like, have to hold it down in a weird way. And then it, like, lets go. But this one, I assume... will not do that. Oh, what is this? Give me that. Give me that weapon. Oh shit, I have a rocket launcher now. Dude, the tanks stop like dying so quick. Like I can't like kill these tanks. Oh wait, now I can. This is, this is crazy. Oh, that hit me. Okay, how do I... How do I rank my score? If you destroy the car, you will get a score. You can tweet the score. Oh, so there isn't a regular ladder thing. It's just only tweeting the score. Hmm. Okay. Well, this one was alright. It... I, I don't know... It feels a little... a little jank. Feels a little bit jank. I also don't like that clicking on the game brings up a save thing for no reason. That doesn't really make sense, but... Alright, main menu? Main menu. Wait, there's a license? That seems like not good. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. I guess that's what... Alright, sure. That is what we did. <laughs> yeah, this game's okay. It's like you just play forever infinite score thing. And not too... Interested in like seeing like how how crazy it gets I think um, So yeah, let's just move on to the next one. Okay So next up We got another unity game here We got another unity game here. It is called the dawn. So let's just fucking get into it and see, right? Let's just get... Ooh, I like the art. That's nice. Ooh. This feels like it's gonna be a puzzle game. Okay. Music? Okay. Okay, music. Alright, let me redo the crop here, because it's a little it's a little off, off, uh, off base here. Get the crop fixed. Boom has a ranking so that's great but let's also take a peek at the directions click to open the door for a vertically wide map you can scroll by moving the cursor to the top and bottom hint the point is to make sure the vampire enters the attack range of the facility as much as possible a city attacked by vampires at night Open the door and guide the vampires to annihilate them before dawn. Dark P. Crows vibes? Maybe. Could be onto something there. Day one. I don't know why the text is misaligned. That's weird. Maybe that was my fault. Day one. Seven vampires until dawn. Also, hi, Drick. Whoa. Okay, where am I? Oh, there's me. How do I... What do I do? Can I move? 
I think I just lost, right? No? Oh, it's attacking doorways. I feel like I'm not doing anything. Oh, hey, I won. I did it! Okay. Town is destroyed. Go to the title. Alright, day two. So, I think if I click... Okay, so boop, boop. I don't want to deal with that. Don't want to deal with that. I feel like I'm not doing anything. Okay, I, I won. Am I, the, am I on the town side? <laughs> the point is to make sure the vampires enter the attack range of... Yeah, open the door and guide the vampires to annihilate the town. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah, all right. So I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm doing the right thing, I think. Just weird that it doesn't... Like, there's no indication that I've beaten day one, right? Or am I missing something? Uh... Okay. That's how you do it. I actually just click the door and that's it. Nice. Okay. Again, there's no, like... It's just retry and title, so... I guess we'll just cruise, th cruise through here. Just keep going. So, whatever that thing is, I don't want to deal with it. We just want to go this way. Yes, sir. Oh. It's weird, it didn't uh, scroll down at first. I had to do it myself. Alright. On to the next one. Alright, this has been a thing. I like the art and the background and the like clouds and whatnot is very all very good. Did I already do day five? No. Okay, so ooh. Yeah, just do that. You'll make it. Yeah. First guy will make it without getting shot and then therefore GG. So far, these have been a little bit too easy, I would, th I would say. Yeah, I would say these have been a little bit too easy so far. So, day six. I don't necessarily... Is eight, like, the number of vampires I have? Let's see. So, da da da. I don't... I think this is fine. Where are my guys? Oh, okay. That guy's gonna get fucked. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, this has been a little bit too easy so far. Unless I'm doing the complete wrong thing, this has been a little easy, which is why I feel like maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> but maybe it'll just ramp up really hard near the end or something. Okay, I think we want to go this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm owning, I guess. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um. Uh, okay, on to the next one. That was, wait, was that eight or seven? I think that was seven, right? How am I losing count? It's been like two seconds. Uh, oof. Just a straight shot down. Should be able to get there. Yeah, nice. The fact that, it, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing it wrong though. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I feel like I need to like have the vampires die. I don't know, feels like that's what I should be doing because the other parts feel too easy. Well, that's interesting. 
if you just go straight down, the bottom gun isn't going to start. Like, this stuff isn't going to hit them, and then this guy's barely going to get hit, and he's just going to make it. Maybe I'm just a vampire general. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just made to be a vampire general. Day 10 already? I'm just that good? Um, okay. Just go. Just go for it. Just go for it. Don't let anyone die. Alright, one died. One died. So how do I figure out my ranking? Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Well. What the fuck? <laughs> I cleared zero stages. Click to open door. The point is to make sure vampires... Okay. I can't read, apparently. I'm so stupid. All right, let's 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 try this again. Back to day one. So it is what I was thinking, that we actually do want to kill these things. Yeah, open that, open that, then open this. That way they get run. Play from your screen for 20 seconds. Yeah, that's what we want. That way this guy's... Yeah, alright. Alright. It's like a, uh, it's sort of like a tower defense, but the towers are already placed, and instead you have to, like, guide the enemies into them. That, that's on me. That's on me, though. But okay. Okay. Alright. There we go. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Next. That makes more sense. Doesn't it? Whoa. That text got all sorts of weird. Wait, why is the text like this? What is that? What is going on? Wait, stop. Okay, that's not my fault. Like, what is what is going on, on my screen? I'm gonna let them win first, and then that way I could just retry. Cause I don't know, I don't know what is going on. Why is this here? Okay. Do I just break every game? What is happening? Oh, I can't go to the title. I've just broken everything. Oh. Okay, go to the title. Why is this here? What is happening? Bro, how did I break a game in like two minutes? How? How does that happen? I'm already, I thought going to the title would fix it. I think I just have to like refresh. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do there. I think I like literally just have to refresh. Okay, day two. Try that again. That was odd. Okay, so there's the two flashing things. This feels weird because they attack it and it and then like he just dies. Yeah, see that? Alright, that's interesting. Retry. Okay. What if I, uh... And then make them, like, walk that way? What? Oh, that does reach. That's crazy. That doesn't seem like that's gonna work. Oh, it does reach them at the door. Oh, okay. Okay, that is going to work then. Nice. The range on those cars is a lot more than I thought. Okay, moment of truth. 
All right, the text is not there still. That's good. I don't know what I did last time to make that happen. Okay, so like this. Oh, he's gonna attack the thing. Yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna work. All right, all right. Let's retry. So what I need to do is start like over here. That way they all move and then this one, oh fuck. Ah shit, okay. I didn't press the, I didn't press the door to the left quick enough so that dude started attacking it, okay. All right, all right, all right. Open. 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 All right, there we go. That should be much better. That should be much better. Much better, much better. Some of the later ones, I imagine, are gonna be kind of crazy. The range on the cross is kind of wild. But these guys are done for. Hey, we did it. Okay, next. Number four, day four. Three, we only have to kill three. Well, that seems terrifying. I think I'm gonna lose, right? Oh, oh, so close. I didn't press that one door quick enough. That's annoying. All right, sure. Sure. Let me press that door. Stop. There you go. There you go. All right, now it's easy win. Easy win. Yeah, easy win. Got it. Okay, next. Day five? Or is it day four? Day five. Three. We gotta kill three. Uh. Oh, wait. Wait. What? Is that gonna work? Maybe. Wait, oh shit. All right, that's my fault. That's my fault, I forgot to do the last door. That's a weird one, cause it's uh, you're sort of. Whatever, that doesn't matter, that doesn't change anything. Okay. That hits two at once. This is gonna be close. Oh no, never mind. That's easy. Okay. All right. Day six. Day six. Day six. Day six. All right. So we got one of these. We want that open. Uh. How do you make them? Is that? How does that work? Oh, okay. That's weird. There were like so many doors open already. I wonder if you need to do like this, this, this? Something like that maybe? This guy feels like he does nothing. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I'm definitely not understanding that. There's so many, uh, I needed to like pause so I can look at the board, I think. Is there a pause button? Okay. Can I scroll? I can. 
That is weird. Because the ones that are here just run, 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 and then they go over here because I open this. There's so many doors not open that it, like, doesn't make a lot of sense. Feels like opening this would make sense so it can shoot further. I wonder if... Maybe I just do this. Curious to see what happens if I just do this. I don't think it will work well, but I'm just curious to see what happens. Yeah, there's no way that's better, right? Yeah, there's no way that's better. Yeah. Weird. That's such a jump in difficulty of, like, what the fuck is happening. So we have stuff that's placed that we don't have control over where it gets placed. And they shoot in specific ways, and these things kind of just move. But it seems like this solution just does not work, but I can't block that. Can I close doors by clicking on them? No, right? Oh, I can? Oh, all right. Well, that changes the whole fucking thing. I thought I could only open doors. <laughs> all right, never mind. I take everything back. Take everything back. Just would like it if, uh... uh if they didn't do this, and this, and this. All right. Okay. This is much better. Much, much better. It's gonna be a little close, though. I think it's gonna be enough. Yeah. All right, there we go. I didn't know I could close doors. All right, that was, that was pretty important to know. Okay, sure. All right, day seven. So it's like, it's a tower defense, but you don't move the towers, you move the people. That's interesting. Um, close, open, 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 close. Okay, so far so good. All right. Okay, okay, okay. This is a little scary, but... Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Wow, not quite. Very close. Hmm. What did I miss? Yo, oh, I missed. Okay, so that's open. That open instead of that. This open instead. That seems this seems like the right thing to do. I don't know. Unless I had opened this side first, but that seems silly. Having that open versus closed doesn't seem to matter too much. I wonder what happens if I close this right when they get here. Because now they already attack it, so that gets me some extra blinks. So that's good. Extra blinks. I think that actually was the key. Oh! No. No. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Closing the door on them? I thought that was genius. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. So first wave, we leave as is. Because that gets taken by that stuff fine. Wait for this guy. Even wait for the first one. Now close. Let this shoot this. Oh, perfect timing. Got it. Wow, that... That level just changed the game. <laughs> that level on closing the doors when the enemies are about to attack, that just changed everything. That I feel like that is a big hurdle mentally to discover.
in order to make progress. So that that's pretty big. All right, day eight. Day eight. Okay. Day eight. What the hell? kind of already killed that one but at least they can all blink there I, I i don't know okay okay all right that looks good a little counterintuitive at first because you kind of feel like you don't want your the middle one to die but it, it felt to me that that made sense because then they have to get hit by all four surrounding ones nice okay day nine and shout out to day nine Day nine dailies. Uh, okay. This is interesting. I think this is what I'm looking to do? Maybe? Wow, that did not do much. Oh, never mind. Mistakes were made. Oh, because that guy just runs right by. All right, all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I need to. I need to open that door so that they go that way. Okay. 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 So I got to do this, then this, then this, then this, and pray. I think. Think that's got to be it. Think that's got to be it. Okay, yep, yep, that's it. That's it. So once the guns are firing, it kind of just works together here. And then boom. Perfect. That one felt uh, easier to figure out just because it, it would, you know, you can ignore the whole left side of the board, right? So there's not too much. Day 10. Oh shit, we're on the last one. Uh, whoa. Okay. No, open this, close this. Uh. Okay. That did not go so well. Yeah, that, 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 whoa. This one is nuts. This one's nuts. Okay, this is going to take some time, I think. I think I need to pause at the beginning and look at the map a little bit more for this one, just because there's so many elements. Okay. <sighs> Having the far left be open makes sense, because then they're most time being shot at. Um... See, this one's the weird part. This one's the weird part. I wonder if there is a world where... I wonder if there's a world where I'm supposed to um, have, like, some of them go this way, and then some of them go this way by, like, timing the doors here? I wonder if there's something like that. Because that would be interesting. Also, I could do stuff like... Like, they're going to go this way. I close the door, they attack it, I open this door so they take more time to run around. I think there's some shenanigans there, but I think it's going to take multiple uh, attempts to, to figure that kind of a thing out. So like here I go this, then I open. Oh, so if they're already attacking it, okay, all right, all right, never mind. If they're already attacking the door, they don't get up and move. So I would have to do it before they attack the door. That makes sense. I can I can understand that. So close, 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 open, open. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. I needed this door not to get closed. I think it would have been relatively close if I didn't, if I, uh... Hmm. I think it would have been close. Would have been close. This first one, I feel like there's something I'm missing. But maybe it's just a you gotta sacrifice it sort of thing. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Ah, uh, see. Ah, the door got opened. No. That's what we did not need. Yeah. Yep. Okay, again, that door got opened. Or that guy started attacking the door, so then I couldn't undo it. All right, all right. Let's just try straight up doing this and seeing what happens again, because I forget. Or maybe just wait until the very last boss and then do the door switching kind of a thing. It's just weird that this guy dies so early. I did it again. Ugh, it's so close to that timing too, where the blinking uh, cross almost kills it before he kills the door, which if it did, that'd be perfect. That would be perfect. All right, I'm actually just gonna let the thing run this time. Actually just gonna let it run, which I think is not gonna be a winning solution, but we'll see. Hands off, hands off. Hands off my bread. Hands off, hands off. Okay. No, oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. That was it, but I slightly mistimed the door close on the left here. It made that other one. The last super speedy guy. Damn. All right, try it again. Try it again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get on. MXC style. All right, all right, all right. No, I didn't do that. Fuck me. Fuck me. There was such a delay on the click. I thought I would have been okay. I thought I would have been all right. He was not all right. He was not all right. Okay, here we go. What in the world is this? So it's like a tower defense, except instead of moving the towers and selecting the towers, you select the doors and have to figure out what the right path is. Though also it seems like there's a bit of an element of where you can close the door to slow them down. When you close the door though, it means they'll attack anyone. If you leave a door open, they'll automatically go to that space like you see. But if I close this, then this guy would just attack there. So I gotta wait, 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 wait. Close. Close. No! No, last fucking second! I needed to reopen it. I needed to reopen it so the boss would go that way. Or the second boss. Didn't realize the house of God allows deployment of minigun. Apparently. I'm definitely so close to having it though. It's just the timing of the door opening at the very end there. Because I do think I need to close the door at the last moment.
Hmm, that's an idea I could do. Okay, I got an idea that would maybe help here. So I gotta wait, wait for this guy, close. Fuck, I mistimed it. I needed to open that one first and then close that one. Okay, very close. You see it though, right? I'm so close. I'm so close. This is the last level, so it's the hardest one for sure. I do like that it's, it's more interesting that you do have to like manage the door closing and whatnot to actually make things work. So that's kind of neat. It's a neat thing to change it up a little bit. Make it a little more interesting than just set my pieces and hands off. You actually have to kind of pay some attention. Which is neat. Though I will say, these are the weirdest looking vampires I've ever seen. I have I don't think I've ever personally seen a vampire that looks like this, but... Wait for this guy. Close. So I do need to close. That was confirming. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to confirm that I actually needed to close the door for this first guy. So that if I know if I have to do this fancy ending thing, that's really tough. So close, open, close, open, close. And now I just gotta... The bosses. The bosses. I gotta time it right. I gotta time it right. You know what? I'm actually gonna move myself to the top here. While I have the moment, I'm gonna move myself up here. So you can actually see what's happening. So for the super red speedy guys, I gotta let the first one go. And then I close this door when the other one is in front of it. Then, I have to open this one once he gets through. Close this, open this, open this, close this. No, he still went for it? That's insane. That's nuts. That's actually crazy. I can't believe it did that. I feel like I opened the door so far ahead of time. What? What? I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shocked. I thought I was so much closer. So either the timing on that is nuts, or maybe there's a bit of a difference that I need. A different, slight difference in the way that I'm doing the doors. Hmm. That is very something. Okay, okay, okay. We could do this. Close. No. So I have to cl Hmm. I definitely do have to do that open then. Because you saw me close this. If I didn't close this, this guy was getting through. So I closed it. And then opened it quickly, hoping that that last bit of delay would make the uh, cross do enough to kill, but it did not. So, what that means is I do have to do that like double switch shenanigans, but I have to somehow time it even better than I did the last time. I also can do this, which actually might be... That actually, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I need to do, actually. That sounds even better. Yes. Yes, that must be it. I close this so that they have to keep running towards the gun? That sounds like that might be right. Okay. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. Let's try that this time. We're still going to do the door here after the fast red guy, but... Now, he should go to here. Let's go! Let's fucking go! We've defeated every single one. One of the few to defeat every stage. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay. All right.
that was uh that turned out to be more interesting than I expected. I will say. That turned out more interesting than I expected. I like the art, the background art by the way, and that thing, that's really cool. Music solid. Um the text is getting weird. I don't know why that text text is getting weird. And then the bug that I had earlier was strange, but uh, also the vampires looked a little weird, but whatever. The puzzles themselves had a pretty decent progression. Um, it doesn't surprise me necessarily that people weren't able to get all 10 because there was some somewhat non-intuitive things maybe like closing re closing the door on something to slow it down as well as the fact that I could close doors at all I didn't even know I could do that for the first few levels um, so that was cool and then yeah um, let's take a look at some of these comments it was fun because the graphics were also made in detail the timing of opening and closing is important yeah see this guy gets it becomes especially important when it comes to difficult difficulty Frustrated on day nine, couldn't understand the conditions that broke the enemy. Sometimes broke a door without going through an open road. Interesting, yeah. It, it's like it definitely is an interesting like flip. It it's like a role reversal almost of tower defense in a way, which is cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in tower defense. Tower defense has always just been tower defense. You place the towers, you press the thing, whatever it is. But this was more inter. This felt. This felt like a more fun tower defense. Though, in this, in, in, it is also different though. Because if you just want to be lazy and like set up tower, 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 let it run balloon style or something. Maybe balloon style, I don't even know. But this one you actually have to like, as it, especially in the harder levels where you have to time doors and stuff. Sometimes. It definitely makes that more interesting for the purpose of... It's more engaging. It's a more engaging way of doing tower defense, and it's sort of a backwards one, which is cool. Um, yeah, that was very that was that was a really cool take. I, I uh, have to say, I was surprised by that. Though me being really fucking stupid at first was also that was also something to uh, keep in mind. But yeah, this this was a good time. Appreciate this one. I'm I'm glad we got to do this one. That was good. That was a good time. Wow, it's already been an hour? What the fuck? Alright, let me pull up the next one and see if it looks like a long one or not. I don't know if we want to do a stretch time now or later. So this one's called Escort. Let me just take a peek here. This looks like this might be long. Looks like this might be long. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's just do... um. Let's just do a quick stretch break to be on the safe side. Because uh, th today uh, I've been a little all over the place. Or today's been really shitty in terms of work related. So let's just uh, let's just let's get the stretch break in, huh? Let's go to the Reddit. Let's open one of these. What do we got for videos? Scary video? No. Tassing thing? Too long. Super Mario fan game stomped on. Unbreak breaking the unbreakable Mario Kart. That's pretty long. I don't know if we want that either. Let's see what else we got. Wrong, wrong thing. What else we got here? Why are enclosed spaces so dangerous? Actually, yeah, let's do that one just because it's actually an important topic. If you don't know about it, I have known about this for quite a while. But for those that don't, enclosed spaces are very dangerous. <laughs> Uh, not just because it's in, not just because you're trapped or whatever. It's, it's very dangerous for an a ER number of reasons. Or emergency response and rescue vessel. They typically work in areas like the North Sea, standing by offshore installations like oil rigs just in case they're needed in an emergency. A number of years ago, this particular ERRB had an emergency of her own though. She was standing by an oil rig in the North Sea. The weather wasn't too bad, but it was enough that the ship spent the night rolling around. It was nothing that the ship couldn't handle, in fact the most inconvenient part was just the rattling of the anchor chain coming from the chain locker. This is quite common on ships, and 
often crew will just tie up the chain a bit to stop it from banging. On this vessel, that's exactly what they planned to do. Two crewmen went forwards and went into the forward store. This is just where they keep mooring ropes and deck equipment. The floor of the store, however, forms the top of the chain locker. Then there are a couple of manhole covers to get down into the chain locker itself. Now, these covers are each secured with a set of bolts. For any of you that has experience with Bad. these sort of things, that alone will be the biggest warning sign of what is about to happen. The crew removed a total of 18 bolts from the starboard manhole cover. They could then see inside, and they could see the chain gently banging around. One crewman stayed outside with a radio, and the other went in to put lashings onto the chain to stop the noise. As he went down the ladder though, he quickly lost consciousness and collapsed. On seeing his friend collapse, the crewman outside the locker called for help on his radio. He then went in to try and pull his friend out himself. He too quickly lost consciousness and also collapsed. Pretty quickly, the vessel sounded its general alarm and prepared to rescue their crewman from the chain locker. The first man to attempt the rescue couldn't get down the hatch while wearing breathing apparatus, so he swapped that out for an EEBD set. EEBD means Emergency Escape Breathing Device, it's basically a hood with an air supply designed to get somebody out of a contaminated atmosphere. They can't give sustained air, and they can't cope with heavy breathing from physical work. As he reached the bottom of the ladder, for whatever reason, his EEBD was no longer covering his face. He too collapsed, and became the third casualty needing to be rescued. Shortly after that, the remaining crew managed to get down into the locker wearing full breathing apparatus. At the same time, the oil rig sent across a three-man extraction team and a medic to assist. Between them, they gradually extracted the three collapsed crew members and brought them onto deck. The Coast Guard sent medical assistance and a rescue helicopter. When they arrived, the helicopter transferred the three casualties straight to hospital ashore, but sadly none of them actually survived. So what happened? Why did three fit and healthy crewmen perish so quickly no in air. apparently empty space? It comes back to those bolts on the hatch. Remember, I said it should set alarm bells ringing when you see a hatch cover secured with bolts. What it means is the space isn't designed to be accessed as a matter of routine. Is what we call an enclosed space. Saying that, even a space with a normal door could be an enclosed space. Enclosed spaces are just spaces that do not have good ventilation. They don't have fresh air inside. Of course, at some point, every enclosed space was open to the air, be it during construction or maintenance or something like that. You would have thought that the air in there, when it was sealed up, would still be in there now. Nope. But Actually, the composition of air inside enclosed spaces is constantly changing. Think about it, what is inside the chain locker that we looked at earlier? You've got the anchor chain itself, and you've got the sides of the locker. Both of these are made of steel, and steel rusts. Basically, that the atoms is the of key. iron contained within the steel react with oxygen and form iron oxide, or rust. That process naturally removes oxygen from the space. Over time, enclosed spaces, particularly ones on ships or in other metallic structures, have a naturally depleting oxygen content. Normal air should contain approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% everything else. When tested, the air inside the chain locker we're looking at actually contained as little as 15% oxygen, and that was hours later, after all of the rest of the Hours activity. later. But it's not just rust that can do that. There have been so many cases of different cargoes doing the same thing. One that comes up time and again is timber cargo inside a hold. The timber itself is breathing, so it uses up oxygen in the air. Now, I'm not going to go into exactly how you should enter those spaces in this video. There are entire courses devoted to that subject. All I will say is that if you're ever in doubt as to whether the space is enclosed, just don't go in. Yep. My hope today is that you've enjoyed learning about the topic and now understand a little about the reason why these spaces are so dangerous. For more content like this every other Friday, be sure to So yeah, enclosed spaces are scary. Until next time, thank which you Which is um, also why stuff like uh, mines or mine shafts, depending, can have issues like this, as well as stuff like underground bunkers can definitely have that problem. 
So for whatever reason <laughs> you run into that situation, uh, yeah, be very, very careful. The weird thing about the vi the story in the video though was that like you would think after the first two guys fell in and got bodied that the third guy like yeah he's using a personal thingy thingy he should be okay but like wouldn't you like rope him up or something so if he collapses you can maybe like pull him back up so he doesn't die or something I don't know it just seems weird but also hi vicious um I'm going to go pee, so just enjoy some music for a moment, shall you? TGIF, you say, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. This was probably one of the worst Fridays in a while for me, to be honest. <laughs> but hopefully the stream turns it around so far. It's been not bad. Been not bad. And, uh, I guess on that note, we got a uh, we got another Unity game here to do, and uh, it's called Escort. I think it's gonna be a platformer or something, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. So let's just go in. It looks like it has cool art style. So let's yeah, let's just jump in and see. Let's jump in and see. First off, at least it isn't Monday. True. First off, let's take a peek at these guys. We have arrow keys move and jump, Z attack X, the case of the night, the transition in the morning. Pause and reset. Space is the character feed. All right. Introduction, daddy don't follow me. Daughter not listen to say that, just go on an adventure in one. You've been told I would hate that thing, dad. Okay. Uh, let's escort Musume adventure without going on an adventure alone. Musume adventures in the daytime by dawn. Let's prepare the path for Musume. Operation Night of Hero is some guy, hero daughter of the day. Action puzzle game to continue to capture the stage, the conditions. The conditions change in day and night. Look away from your screen for 20 seconds. Repeat day and night until you finish. Okay. So it sounds like one character can do stuff in the mor in the day, and then another character can do stuff at night. And I assume they have different abilities. And there also might be other stuff that changes day and night. So I guess that's what we're going with. I guess that's what we're going with. So let's crop this. Let's first crop this. And uh, we'll go from there. We actually also don't have the real music yet, so. Uh, bigger. Oh, this is not correct. Do that. Now it should be correct. Boom. Okay. Unmute. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're in. Obviously, I don't know what any of this says. Okay, can I move yet? No. Okay, now I can move? No. 
Art style is interesting. Day one. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I can move. Okay, okay. Oh, so I just kill the enemy and then, all right. Now we're sleeping and the other per- I like how the other person's hiding. So there's a time-based element, which I was not expecting. Okay, okay. That, that art is cute. Okay, now it's nighttime and I have a hammer. Oh wait, what did I just do? Oh shit. I pressed X by accident. Wait. No, I need it to be I need it to be nighttime cuz I think she has to uh she she can probably break the blocks with the uh hammer is my guess. Reset. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay. Can I? Okay. What if I do this? Oh, that's neat. Does that kill that? Oh, it does. And then I have to... What's going on here? Am I supposed to be able to break... Do I have to break all the ice blocks? Is that what it is, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Or maybe I just needed to do that stuff and then now I can just go this way. Oops. And just run. Oh, okay. So I don't have to break the ice. All right, I also need to move myself because you couldn't even see anything. So, I don't know where I'm going to put myself, like, up, up top right, I guess. Because that's where the buttons are, which no one cares about. Very cozy music. They, they look... That, that looks comfy. Comfy. Nice, simple little mini tent. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's continue. Okay. So Oh shit. Okay. I don't know. I ran away. I switched to daytime. Oh, I died. Oh. Whoops. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Doing this because, boom. Then I switch. So I get it. It's kind of like uh, the nighttime person is like dad or something making it so that their child can easily get through the stage. It doesn't seem like I have to kill all the enemies with the hammer person, but it certainly helps. Certainly helps. All right. Let's go, day five. Kill that. Boom. That's it, right? Yeah, the hammer person has more hearts, I'm noticing as well. So I definitely think it's the trope of like, the first person has to make it so the next person can walk through. I wonder how many days there are.
think I was supposed to hit that the other way, huh? Let's reset that. I think I'm supposed to hit the, uh... This thing to the left so that it falls? Yeah. Nice. Alright, now we switch. Go to daytime. Cruise through. Wait, I need to go this way. Oh, I messed up the jump. Fuck. I also might... I think I can make that jump. Oh, fuck. Maybe I needed to move that block. I might have to restart. Oh, it, dude, it looks so close, doesn't it? How was your day, though, Vicious? Alright, I'm just gonna assume I can't make it. I think they're prob- I think I probably could, but it would be tight. Alright, so first things first. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. It's been a night to get the from now until forever. Boom, 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 boom. That actually might not be a good idea. Wait, I can do this, right? I don't... Oh, that works? That's sick. I didn't know I could do that. You can crush it like that? That's sweet. Alright, I should be able to make this. Hey. Hey. Day six. Day seven. Alright, that was... Hitboxes there were a little jank. So... What's going on here? Shoot. Wait, can I do this? That doesn't seem good. I don't think this is gonna work, but let's see what happens, I guess. Yeah, because I need to push a block over there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, alright. So I need to... Oh, I get it. I get it. I need to push this block down so that my guy can jump up later. Then I need to do this. Crack those. Boom. I think, uh, oh, that's interesting. I think that my little dude here is not leveling up or something because the older one is like the hammer person's getting all the kills so maybe i should leave some kills for the swords guy day zero maybe i was supposed to say day 10. oh i should leave some kills to the other thing uh what's going on here i feel like i don't need to move anything in order to beat the level. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Oh shit, I got one shot. Can't complain weather is garbage, at least this weekend will be better. Oh, I think the opposite. I think that it's gonna be way too hot um, this weekend and onward. Oh my gosh, I do no damage. Kite it, kite it, kite it. Perfect. They can attack me in the air. Okay, I did not know that. Day 10. Yeah, so I really just want to know if I can um, get this guy leveled up or not. I think I can. Oh, they just fall down. All right, well, I didn't know that. All the other times, they don't do that. So that's interesting to know. Okay. 
All right, come down here. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I can't press the Z right away. There's like a little bit of a delay. I think I am getting stronger though. Oh God, is that thing gonna follow? No. Ooh, one shot. Fell on him, yeah. This seems odd. Oh, let's go. Clean kills, now I have four HP. All right, so I need to balance. I need to balance it so that they both get some levels. I didn't realize that until now. Okay. Um, so only this person can get up here, which means... Which means... Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, whatever. This is fine. Oh, that is tough. Oof, quick kills, quick kills. Oh, I can't kill that, can I? Okay, I was trying to make the rat thing come down by jumping at it. All right, so here's what we know. Here's what we know. Wait. All right, that thing cracks. I can't push both of those, all right? How do I kill the rat thing? Oh, I see. I need to do this. Boom. That way I can get up to the rat. Got it. Got it. Oh, what the? Yeah, see, re they're really weird about sometimes falling, sometimes not. And I can't swing the sword in the air, which is annoying. I will say, that is definitely annoying. Wait for the thing to go the other way. Boom. Oh, I don't even have to kill it. Oh, okay. So I don't even have to kill every enemy. I th I probably should though. I probably should because that way I like level up and stuff. Who knows if there's like a boss fight later or something, right? Um. Okay, so the tricky thing to kill would, oh fuck, would be the Am I stuck? Would be the rat on the far left. I'm stuck, right? Yeah, reset. So if I do this, shit. Can I jump over that? I can. Okay. Small dude can kill everyone else. They're all level ones and stuff. Oh my god. Run far enough away. Change, go somewhere else. Okay, we're good. I lost some hearts there with swords dude though. So that's a little spooky. I wonder how many days there are. That's what I'm most interested in at this point. What I tell you, there'd be a boss. Oh shit! Ah, jeez. I can't even do anything. Well, <laughs> that's not so great. Oh my god! Dude. Bro, that's fucking crazy. Oh, that's so unlucky. How was I supposed? Oh my god, this person can't hit him, and I did so much leveling up with it. Like, what's the point? I mean, I do need to push it back far enough so I have enough time to do moves, but like, the hitboxes are so tiny for me that I don't even have room to do anything. I just have to be faithful. 
bullshit. Okay. Very unlucky. Very unlucky that I decided to do a bunch of stuff with the hammer person that is basically not important at all in this fight. Okay, run over as fast as possible. Let him lunge. Dude, I have to do like this crazy stutter step. It's so annoying. I, uh, it's so silly that Hammer Person doesn't contribute to the fight basically at all. All right, here we go. All right, reset. <laughs> it also is annoying that I can't fucking click buttons to make this thing move. I have to click with the mouse and for some reason that is annoying because then I have to take my hands off the keyboard and then bring them back. Gotta do this setup so that I have the most amount of time possible. Then... Okay, come on. Spacing. Spacing. Let's go! I'm a hero. I killed the giant rat. Wait, what? No, dad's coming in, or mom, or whoever, S with the hammer. Hell yeah. It's coming. Ready? Yes! Let's go! I don't know what they're saying, but... Yes. Woo! They're chilling with flowers. Oh, flower. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Credits? Despite my complaints, that was fun. Thank me for playing. Thank you for making. No, I like the uh, I like the sprite work. The sprite work's really cool. Music was good. Um, sometimes it felt weird, like the like the speed that I could sometimes slash and not, or maybe it was just the fact that I can't do it midair felt like weird to me, because it is platforming. But it, it makes sense. Like that's a design decision that you can only swing on the ground. That's fine. Just my my natural whatever instinct is to be able to do it in the air to abuse stuff so it was probably for the better that i couldn't um i would say it was a little annoying that the hammer person i mean beyond actually dying you really would want to have the the sword guy have the most amount of level ups for fighting the boss but it was still doable i mean i did the boss without getting hit the hitbox is a little deceiving on the boss thing. It's kind of weird because the sprite sort of looked like they overlapped when that happened, which is a little funky, but um, overall, overall, I would say that was fun. So thanks to KD Shrimp Akane. These are translations. There's no way those are real names. Let's, uh, let's look at other comments. Let's look at other comments here for a moment. The, the design was cute and I liked it. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. What's the dinner plans, Vicious? Okay, the idea of co-op, play with parents and children is too nice. Pixel art is very good and cute. Uh, I like the illustrations when crossing days. I did like that too, that was nice. Design is nice, the idea of making it easier for my daughter to capture, not just a puzzle to switch characters when interesting. I long for this kind of design with a good sense, really interesting, was really interesting. Hidden dad and other small details are 
yeah, when the, the when the dad hides behind the bush and whatnot, that was cute. Um. Heartwarming puzzle game, blah blah blah. Overall, how do you pretend picture cute worldview is well structured? The only like you ate pizza is that <laughs> that is low carb, man. Uh, pizza would be nice. Pizza would be real nice. Uh, the one thing I guess I would say is that, um, I think that the only downfall of this is that sort of what happened in the beginning where I was hammer person and I would just kill everything on the stage so that sword guy just walked through. And if I did that, I would have had... It would have been a very tough uh, boss fight still. It was still anyway, but it would have been even more difficult. Um, it would be nice if... I think it would be good if there was a way to make it so that... Well, maybe not. I mean, it's a dis once you learn that you need to do that, then you would go through and sort of evenly uh, distribute the difficulty or killing the enemies across. But if you wanted to make it so that the player kind of just has to uh do the the battling with both characters so that they both get leveled up um you might have to introduce something else to make that happen i'm not sure what you would have to introduce i don't know if you would have to make maybe a block that in the way that here's something you could do in the way that the ice blocks only appear at night you could have like another type of block that appears at night that or something that the hammer can't go through that when it's daytime is gone so that swords guy could guarantee have people to fight that could be something something along those lines would make it so that it forces the player to um, level up both characters have both characters kill enemies so that's like the only thing I could think of but overall that was that was cool that was very 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 cool uh for me uh vicious i just had the standard like yogurt with granola at the beginning of the stream why does this sound so weird in my ears oh because this got unplugged so i can't actually hear anything right now that's why that's why so what does pizza that is low carb mean what does that mean exactly Because I don't really know what that means. Oh man, pizza would be nice. I'm going to visit my parents tomorrow, so I'm hoping... That maybe, maybe they'll like make or give me something that's tasty. Maybe I don't know. Okay. All right. Do we just go into another one? What do you think? Just go straight into another one, or do we want to do something else? We've done three Unity games today so far? Three. There's plenty more than that to go, for sure. Plenty more than that to go. So let's see. Let me load this one up at least and get a peek at it. The box said 260 calories. This has to be a Sonic song, right? Yeah. Wrong word, low calories, less greasy. Uh, okay, I mean, 260 isn't that much, right? I don't, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know what is like a normal amount of calories. Because I imagine even just the peanut butter that I have on my sandwich, two tablespoons is a serving? How much is a ta- is, I always forget. How big is a tablespoon? Is a tablespoon basically the size of a regular spoon? Like, would that be like a plastic spoon is a tablespoon, basically? 
pretty much, right? Like, a, like this is a tablespoon? Maybe? But this peanut butter, two tablespoons is a serving. And a serving is 190 grams, and I assume I have way more. No, I know I have way more than two servings alone on my peanut butter sandwich. So, dude, I must have... I must eat a lot of calories. So this says... Two tablespoons is 190 calories. And if this is a tablespoon, I have so much more than, like, two tablespoons on a piece of bread? That's like barely enough to cover one piece of bread. Let alone both sides and, you know, laying it on thick. Salty and oily. Not, I mean, 80 milligrams of sodium isn't that much salt. Right? No, it's not. Oily. I don't know how you measure how oily something is, but I mean, it's supposed to be the healthier one because it's the natural. But anyway. <sighs> oh shit, is it raining? Not yet, but I think it's going to very soon. I got that I got totally distracted there. You no, know the pizza box you used to get that was it. so. Do you get you only have frozen pizza or something? That doesn't seem like the. I feel like if you're doing pizza, you gotta go. New York Sea monsoon made its way over. Not yet. Not yet. It's supposed to be a short storm, I think. I mean, this past weekend, we had rain like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I think it was, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that, when we had a bunch of rain. And then all this week has been fairly normal. So for me, the rain, the weather today, I think is just gonna be, um, just rain. Oh, doesn't even say it's gonna rain anymore. They were talking up a big storm Friday night, and now it says it's not gonna rain, and that we're not gonna rain until Tuesday. I feel like that's lying, but maybe not. Um. Okay. So, new Unity game, and uh, this one. I don't. It's it's about a cat. And it's a mail cat. Does it work at the post office? Does it disrupt mail? I don't know. But we'll find out. It's version one, apparently. I can tell you that much, so. Let's see. You agree, but you save money and not so fatty. Plus, I don't care for great or good pizza. Okay, this music's good. I have to crop, and I also need to adjust this volume. Okay, this, this, this music's good. Music is good. Yeah, definitely not East Coast talk, for sure. Alright, do that. Boom. There we go. Okay. Mail cat. I don't know where I'm supposed to put myself, so let's just... Let's just go up here, I guess. Uh, but first, let's check the directions real quick. Real quick, real quick. Alright. Cat movement. L is left. J is right. What? What? Have you looked at a keyboard? What do you mean? Uh, that's not gonna work. 
L is on the right side of the keyboard and J is on the left. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? L is left movement, J is right. That's so weird. Who uses those letters? Okay. A is left feed, W is upper feed, and D is right feed? A, W, D. Okay. That part, you know, that's like WAST. That's normal. Let's open your own letter and get a fish while separating the letters of the Coleco Cat and the Tabby Cat. It is finished to extend, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to try. We're going to try. From CT and doesn't care for good pizza, SMH. Maybe. Okay. We need to see the method of operation here. Oh, God. J and L are such weird keys to do this with. Okay. N. All right. Let's just let's just give this a go. Okay, I lost. Okay. You're not a spinning in her grave. Okay. Uh all right. Retry is the left arrow. What are these key? Okay. What do I need the WASD for? Okay, I don't know what WASD are for here. I'm collecting a lot of mail, but I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, okay. Wow, that is so much more confusing. Okay, so I have to do two things at once. Whoa, whoa, okay. Boom. Okay. All right. Do you guys understand what's happening right now? <laughs> Holy shit. That becomes so much harder. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm moving the cat with my right hand. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You know, you know whatever. Try not to hit the, the purple envelopes. Those are, those kill you. Meanwhile, on the left side of the screen, there's those, there's envelope. It'll show like an envelope, a cat, and then there'll be an arrow. That arrow corresponds to the left hand. You know, A is left arrow, right, or up. And if you do those, okay. All right, that's crazy. All right, let's run this back. We're learning, we're learning. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. God, this is too much for my brain. Left, 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 right, left, left, up, right, right, left, up, right, up, right, up, right, left, up, left, left, up, right. Left, left, right. No, I hit up. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. So what I need to know really here... Because I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. It seems like it doesn't care how fast I deliver the letters. A.K.A. the left hand, left, right, up. It doesn't really seem like it cares about that. As long as I don't mess it up. So, I f the only other way to lose is the timeout. So I feel like if I just focus, if I focus on the middle thing more and then glance and do an envelope every once in a while, I should be able to basically just go forever, right? Unless the, unless the clocks start giving me less time. That's like the only thing I could think of. Whoops, I am pressing the wrong button. What happens if I get a purple? I actually just want to... Oh, the hearts. Okay, so there's hearts. Okay, you can't see this yet. 
there was hearts at the top right where my face was, which showed, I guess I can hit purple envelopes three times or something. Is there anything that would be up here that's important? There's the clock, right? There's the score and the clock. So where do I put myself? Right here then? That right here works. Yeah, or even just right here under the hearts. That still works too. Okay. So now you can see the hearts. I'm just going to press the wrong. Ah, so the hearts stand for, I think, both hitting the purples or doing the wrong command. I think. All right, let's... Okay, here we go. Here we go. I still feel like J and L are weird buttons to have be the, uh... Oh, I messed up there. Okay. All right, hold on. Okay, I need someone to tell me. <laughs> I need to know if delivering letters gives me time back or not. Because I was not paying enough attention to know. I think it's just for score, right? focus so hard for this I fucked up oh my god this is so hard on my brain okay up left Okay, so here's what I've here's what I've concluded. Cause I'm pretty sure I was picking up every clock there. So either you just will eventually run out of time, so you're trying to do, to do as many, you're trying to be as fast as possible on both, or that delivering more letters gives you time or something. It's either one of those two. But man, that is tricky. Oh, what? It just sent me right in. Ouch. You can only hold a certain amount at a time, is also what I'm realizing. High score, high score. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I missed that clock. That's also bad. I panicked, I panicked, I panicked. Why does that bring me here? That was the, I pressed home. I pressed the right arrow. I just let myself die. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> this game's... I like the music a lot. Uh, the game is hard to do to get a good score, which makes it interesting. It'd be... I would have liked there to be a ranking thing to see where people score. I think that would make it much... make myself much more interested to uh, replay it and try to get a high score. But uh, I guess even not counting that, it was still pretty neat. But if it had the high score thing, I think people would have definitely been more interested to play it. It's like pretty challenging if you're trying to go as fast as possible. Definitely not a game that I'm good at. Kind of reminds me of, um, uh, what would that remind me of? I, it, I mean, in a way it was sort of like a rhythm game to some degree. Uh, 
which I don't think I've never I was never like a guitar hero grinder or anything like that but god damn if this music isn't good this is some good music I'll say that much I don't say that much so yeah mail cat kind of neat kind of a neat one Kind of a neat one. Damn. I still keep getting notifications on this Bill Burr, or not Bill Burr, oh my gosh, Bo Burnham tweet. Just won't stop. It just won't stop. Just won't stop. I also don't really know how Twitter works. Like, it, it'll, like, group up the number of likes and stuff. I don't really understand when it decides to group up or not, like these. Like, is it because it's a different act? Like, are you, does this mean that this person replied, then 44 people liked it in between these people retweeting? Whoa, that just got three more retweets really quick. Oh, shit, we jumped. Ah! Okay. Cool. Anyway. Uh, stretch time? It probably hasn't necessarily been an hour since the last stretch time, but... I'm thirsty. It's hot. I kind of want to grab my apple. Mmm. Um, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about if I changed to doing, like, Clubhouse, Six Ball, or Showdown? Or do you want me to do more Unity? That's, I guess, the other question. But while we're thinking about that, let's see. Oh, this actually sounds kind of interesting, but... Let's see, so we did that. Oh, this is also interesting. Clubhouse? It's been a little, a little while since Clubhouse. Maybe find Kyle. All right, let's get this. Let's get this video in. I haven't seen it, and I'll probably miss some of it while I go get my apple. But let's do the stretch break. We've we've done some Unity, right? It's been good. Uh. Hey, just but now let's chill. Before we get started, after you're done watching this video, make sure to check out my video on Mario Kart ROM hacks. There will be a link in the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're great, Antu. A digital Millennium Copyright Act takedown. DMCA. Notice, the removal of copyrighted material by or on behalf of a copyright holder. To get an idea of why only 1% of fan games get stomped out by these takedowns while the rest live on in peace, we spoke with Mario Fan Games Galaxy, a site that's been around for 20 years and hosts over 1,200 homemade Mario games. They told us Nintendo isn't really bothered by fan games unless they threaten the sales of official games. Only then does Nintendo call out the ninjas. According to MFGG, the Nintendo, Nintendo does ninjas. not go after all fan games. Rather, they seem to mostly target remakes of existing Nintendo games. This is probably because they don't want people to freely download games they're currently selling, which is also the reason they went hard on ROM sharing sites. It is not risky to make a Nintendo fan game. If you don't remake an existing game and don't try to profit from it, the risk of getting your fan game taken down is close to none. It is worth noting that Nintendo plays by a different rulebook when it comes to Pokemon fan games as well as that's true. fan games, but that's another video. Yeah, Pokemon. Today, we're focusing they on Mario hate. games. Out of the 15 or so Mario games Nintendo did DMCA, three of those games are all developed by just one man. Damn! Come on, you are. The Mario DMCA record holder. The first game that attracted Nintendo's attention was Last Impact, possibly the most ambitious fan-made Mario 64 wow. sequel ever. Case Holy shit. Gaming, it is a full 130 star long game with all new content, NPCs, enemies, bosses, levels, and a new soundtrack. It's basically That's what Mario Galaxy 2 was compared to Mario Galaxy 1 as far as content and scale. The first thing you'll notice booting up Last Impact is the file select screen. Instead of just a simple menu, you run around the entryway of Peach's castle and select a door. Last Impact's first stage is Wildlife Valley, a swampy nature reserve where touching fuzzies makes you loopy just like they did in Yoshi's Island. Throughout the course of the game, you will also explore Sky High Islands, Bowser's Castle, and a Rainbow Road stage that sick. pays homage to both Mario Kart and Mario Galaxy. 
The original Super Mario 64 has the castle as its one hub world, but Last Impact has three. The Whoa. castle grounds, an abandoned village, then eventually you will launch a spaceship to the moon. It has these power-ups like the spider mushroom that lets Mario spawn strings to hang from in Bro, midair. This and is there's sick. also some old power-ups like the classic invincibility star, the fire flower, rideable Yoshi, and a paper mushroom that makes Mario two-dimensional, just like in Paper Mario. Kay's spent about 4,000 hours on Last Impact's wow. development, but just one month after he completed the project, Nintendo shut him down with a DMCA. Unlike that sucks. most fan game developers, Kay's isn't phased by DMCAs. So in 2017, he released Super Mario 64 Maker, which is exactly what it sounds that like. That is cool. The traditional Mario Maker <laughs> formula, but in three dimensions. You can pick from 15 themes, add up to 20 stars to each level, and even choose the music. Modders have been making their own Mario 64 levels for years, but 64 Maker simplified the experience, giving fans with no modding skills the chance to craft their own 3D worlds. All you need to build a stage is a Nintendo 64 controller and a good idea. Kaze's trailer video announcing Mario 64 Maker pulled in over a million views on YouTube, and Damn. thousands of fans shared their custom levels online, with YouTubers and streamers trying them out for the world to see. In 2019, a fan named Foxen even used it to build a full 121-star game called Cursed Castles. And it got pretty popular, drawing the attention of reviewers and speedrunners. But, of course, the fun couldn't last forever. Super Mario 64 Maker managed to survive for three years, but a few months before this video was made, Nintendo struck it down with a DMCA. Damn. And even pulled the trailer from YouTube. Still refusing to admit defeat, a year later, Kay's released Super Mario 64 Online, the classic game that we all know and love, but with up to 24 players all running around at once. What? Of course, the natural choices like Luigi, Yoshi, and Peach were all there, but the roster also included some characters you might not expect. Rosalina, Goomba, Kirby, Goomba? and even Kirby. Sonic and Knuckles. Every character controls mostly the same as Mario, but also has some unique ability. For example, Sonic is the fastest and can spin dash, but he can't That seems jump. broken. While Luigi can climb steep slopes and double jump, but his weakness is having less health. 24 players can all share the same server with free movement. So while a few friends are off in bob -omb Battlefield, everyone else might be at Womp's Fortress or anywhere else in the castle. That's cool. The game attracted a huge following with about 200,000 players joining the fray and some big YouTubers to boot. But predictably, Nintendo Ninjas hit K's with another DMCA. He says they even went after his YouTube channel, saying it always sucks to get DMCA'd. With Last Impact, it wasn't a huge deal, since that wasn't a strike on YouTube. But with Super Mario 64 Online, they hit me with YouTube Strikes, which has the risk of killing my channel. Dude, this guy is so good at making games that Nintendo has fucking struck. Dude, at that point, why isn't Nintendo just hiring this guy? Like, three times he made things that popped off, though I didn't really hear about any of them, but still, three times he's made stuff that people popped off about, and they're like, hmm, maybe this guy's onto something. Uh, most of nope. the DMCA recipients we spoke to nope. were scared into submission, or accepted the takedown as an inevitability and agreed to ride off into the sunset. But Kays refuses to let his games die and continues releasing update patches to this very day, even though Nintendo is still going after him. Kay said, I've been uploading patches ever since the first DMCA, which legally is something they can't really take down. That means now they can only DMCA the YouTube videos because they have Mario running around in them, which feels like a pretty low blow. I just end up uploading a black screen with a download attached if I believe they want to delete that game from the internet. He also mentioned that some huh. fans put his games on Nintendo 64 cartridges and distribute them online, though he was quick to point out they're acting all on their own, and he keeps his hands clean when it comes to physical carts or making yeah, yeah, a profit. That, that's a but whole the different DMCA business. the list isn't all sequels and online escapades. There's also been some interesting ports, remakes, and even demakes. The original Mario Bros. game was officially released on the Atari in the early 80s. But when Super Mario Bros. launched... Hold on. I, I want to see this, but I need to get my, my apple.
Okay, okay, sorry. Two years later, Nintendo kept it I know, pause, he paused the, the video. Imagining a world where Nintendo and Atari's partnership lasted a little longer, animator Chris Spry developed an unofficial Atari port called Princess Rescue. Oh, damn, that's cool. The 2600's primitive technology forced some interesting compromises, like using the ball from Pong as Mario's fireballs, and only included half the stages so it would fit on a 32 kilobyte cartridge. Long before Chris finished the game, Princess Rescue was attracting a lot of attention online, so he teamed up with Atari Age to manufacture physical carts complete with a box and manual. But it wasn't long before a video review from IGN attracted dangerous levels of attention, and Nintendo shut the whole thing down with a DMCA in the summer of 2013. Due to its limited release, Princess Rescue became increasingly rare and sought after by collectors, with sealed copies auctioning off for upwards of $500. Chris told Did You Know Gaming, All the produced games sold, so a little over 300 physical copies are out there in the wild somewhere. And yes, I do have my own personal copy of the game in the box with manual, and it will always stay with me. Around the same time Chris was getting DMCA'd, a programmer codenamed Zero Page was starting up a Super Mario Bros. port of his own, but this time for the Commodore 64, an early 80s system with a little more horsepower than the Atari. Unlike Princess Rescue, Super Mario Bros. 64 included all 32 stages and was a near-perfect one-to-one port, although the differences in tech resulted in some small audio and visual distinctions. Most fans believed a faithful Commodore port was impossible until Zero Page proved them wrong and released it in a format playable on both emulators and the Commodore 64 itself in 2019. But after seven years in development, Super Mario Bros. 64 only survived three days on the internet before Nintendo's legal department issued a series of DMCAs, ordering a takedown to every website hosting a download link. In 2015, indie developer Roy Stan Ross released Super Mario 64 HD a 1080p Unity remake of bob on Battlefield running in 60 frames per second. It immediately blew up in popularity, pulling in more than a million players, and Touch Arcade even ported the game to iPhone 6. Rather than the full game, Roy Stan released Mario 64's first stage as something of a tech demo, along with the source code so other indie developers could add on to it. It took him months to rebuild bob on Battlefield, so he figured maybe the community could pick up the torch and finish the game in its entirety. But then, you know... He got DMCA'd, so that never happened. No Man's Sky was the talk of the town back in 2016, so indie developer ASMB Games came up with a mashup they called No Mario Sky. The game's Mouse and Plumber, not bad, not bad. Levels are curved planets, and instead of just running right, Mario can explore in any direction, left, right, and even up. After Muscle Toad tells you the princess is on another planet, Mario jumps into a spaceship and explores the stars in search of a seemingly infinite number of randomly generated stages. No Mario Sky featured some unique Goomba designs, including one that went semi-viral because everyone thought it was based on Donald Trump. But one of the developers, Alex McDonald, told Did You Know Gaming it actually just had weird hair, and its resemblance to Trump was just a coincidence. No Mario Sky probably wasn't threatening the sales of real Mario games, but the connection to No Man's Sky and a perceived Trump reference might have been too much to stomach for Nintendo. One week and 95,000 downloads later, it was hit with the DMCA. The developers told us they quote, pooped their pants when they found out. But after some thought, decided to turn their lemons into lemonade. They renamed the game No DMCA Sky, and slapped a space helmet on Mario's head so he no longer resembled Nintendo's IP. Goombas became Moombas, and Princess Peach became Princess Mango, and instead of World 1-1, the first stage was named World DMCA, DMCA. The devs built the original game in just three days as part of a game jam, so they had lots of leftover ideas they didn't have time to put in. But considering all the legal complications, they decided to abandon any connection to Mario, and instead use all those ideas to build a brand new, much more polished game they called Deep Sky. Another remake that caught a lot of attention was Full Screen Mario, a sort of deluxe edition of Super Mario Bros. The most recognizable upgrade is the widescreen format, but it also lets players choose any of the game's 32 stages right from the start. Full Screen Mario also lets you build your own stages, and even had a level generator with a near-infinite number of Damn, randomized maps. Damn, that's cool. Keep in mind, this was in 2013, a year before Nintendo announced they were developing Mario Maker on Wii U which might have been how full-screen Mario found its way onto their DMCA shortlist. Its immense popularity probably didn't help either. The game was playable directly in your browser with no download required, and the site drew in more than 2.5 million visitors. 
up until Nintendo stomped it one month later. We spoke with Full Screen Mario's creator, Josh Goldberg, who told Did You Know Gaming that it was born from a desire to capture the nostalgia of the original, while also adding some features for younger gamers who find the original outdated. When asked if he had plans to expand the game even further, he said, The biggest addition was going to be real-time multiplayer online. I also wanted to add in the features from Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, namely red coins, Yoshis, and the extra levels. And some kind of fixed map battle situation akin to Super Smash Bros. would have been cool too. Imagine if you and a few friends were placed at random positions in a Super Mario Bros. level and you could run anywhere in the map. Then each of you get a fixed number of lives and can respawn after a few seconds when you die. Maybe jumping on someone's head damages them. I think that would That'd be, be cool. really fun. Unfortunately, Josh's vision for full screen Mario was never realized, but a few of those ideas Feels got bad. a second chance six years later. In 2019, hey. more than a year before Nintendo announced Super Mario 35, YouTuber Inferno Plus was sitting around with a friend talking about how oversaturated the Battle Royale scene had become. He told us, I believe the thing I said to my friend was you could turn literally anything into a Battle Royale. I bet I can do it. My intention was just to make a Battle Royale for a joke, but it turned out to be a pretty good idea. What he ended up with was Mario Royale. The classic Super Mario Bros. experience, but with 99 online Marios all at once. Finishing in first, second, or third earned you the good ending, but everyone else got dropped into lava. <laughs> Did you know gaming asked Inferno Plus if there was more content he would have added if not for the DMCA, and he said, Yeah, I had a sort of roadmap in my head. I wanted to get all the basic features people had asked for added in, then I was going to release the map editing tool I had used to make the levels for the game, and let people make custom maps. Nice. But, of course, the game was slapped with a DMCA. Inferno Plus expected that might happen, however, so he changed the game to DMCA Royale, starring a new character named Infringio and his brother, hmm. Copyright Infringio. But Nintendo said that wasn't good enough and quickly shut down a DMCA Damn, Royale really? as well. Now, a year Wrecked. later, all that remains is the website's goodbye page, which regretfully informed its fans that you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself get contacted by Nintendo lawyers. Wah, wah. Sorry, your battle royale is in another castle. There's Feels a few bad. more Mario DMCA's we didn't touch on, mostly because they were too similar to other games in this video, like Super Mario Remaker and another version of Super Mario 64 HD. Or because they were just a little too spicy for YouTube, like Peach's Untold Tale. We'd like to bring this episode to a close what is by Peach's asking you Untold to Tale? down this video. And if you want to learn about lots of real Mario games, Does check that involve... out the Digino Gaming Mario oh. playlist on screen, or if okay. you're interested in the ever-expanding... I just Google Rob Peach's Untold Tale, and I just see, like, free Mario, sex game, xvideos.com, xxx, and I'm like, all right, well, I don't that think we want to go to that. You can click that link as well, and don't actually think, get to uh, watch it. Don't, don't, don't think we want to... Don't think, don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Princess Peach SFM. I don't know if that's what it is or not. I assume it's probably more of like a flash game or something. Uh, anyway, so Vicious mentioned doing Clubhouse. How do you feel about that, Havens? Down for that? Or would we rather, um, uh. would we rather do not that or whatever? At the very least, I have to take this out. Take out Mario and Rabbids. To put in Clubhouse. Chilling with Clubhouse chat. Uh oh, we got the hiccups. Okay. Where's Clubhouse? Vicious, I don't think you made it to the mini stream yesterday, but RPB got his 12th, 12th month sub, aka birthday sub. So that was exciting. <clears throat> Even though it's Friday, I think I do have to end at sort of the normal time because... Well, actually, I don't want to use that one. I use Joy-Cons because... I have to wake up super early. Which is gonna suck. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. 
Can we get this switch in, please? Okay. I need to unmute this. Let's see, so if I go here, properties. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's not gonna be good. Look away from your screen for 20 seconds. It's not gonna be good, but it, it is what it is. <clears throat> Because basically I need to get my run in before something and that something starts at like 1130 so I kind of need to get on the move because I have to drive over to the place that I need to be so yeah Pretty much I need to... My plan... The timeline is actually tricky because uh, conservatively we could go like minimum two hour and a half is conservative. Like safe amount of time for the entire warm up run, cool down shower or stretch shower. And whatnot that's like a, a conservative like safe time to assume so if we're assuming I need to be ready to leave at 1130 that means I would then have to be on the move at 9 but I have to drive over there and it's probably gonna be more yeah yeah okay anyway uh, this game what else Uh, this game, this game, the classics, the classics, clubhouse and more. We're doing six balls, so I need to move myself up here and probably a little smaller. So I have not done, we have not done clubhouse in a little while, so I expect to be, get kind of bodied. All right, I'm on the right side. It's a little laggy. Oh, that lag though. This dude's lag central. All right, got him. Got him. We're gonna get a pyramid. Oh my God. That's, that is rough. That is rough. Oh my god, another hex. This dude's gotta be like, what the fuck am I dealing with right now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh, the lag though. What the hell? Oh guys, I might not have it though. <laughs> no, I was just <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm assuming that that lag is because of him, though. Oscar? Oscar. Oscar on these nuts. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, well, I fucked up. All right, yep, yeah, I fucked up. And then I guess that purple would be the way. Okay, okay, I still got there. Yeah, I, don't, I think, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for the blue, I guess. Blue pyramid. All right. Go for the purple pyramid. Oh my gosh, the lag. The lag. 
Alright, I'm gonna leave this guy because he's lagging, and I want to check if my wired connection is wired or if it somehow is unplugged. So I'm gonna leave this guy. Also, that way I can maybe find someone else to see if it is me that's lagging. Though it shouldn't be, because it usually is not. Usually is not. So let's check quickly. I'm on wired. Oh, connect four, let's go. Get that quick connect four. Sorry, four in a row. Move myself down here. Ben the guy. I feel like I've played against this guy before. All right. Let's see. I go second. Shit. Damn, he's not going center? Okay, I'll take it. Okay, okay. What do you got going on here? Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. He definitely was going for a control the center type of move, which is fair. Yeah, so he's blocking that path, so I might as well do this. I would just give him that? That's, that's a strange one. There's a lot of dangerous places for him right now. <laughs> There's a lot of dangerous places. Uh, let's see. If I place this, he places there, I have to place there. I think that's okay. Place there to block, he places there, I place here. I win. Whew. That was a battle. He couldn't put it to the right either, otherwise I would still win as well. Let's go! Run with the points, run with the points. We're out, we're out, we're out. Run with the points. Run with the points. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I'm signing up for checkers. I don't want to do checkers. I should have signed up for, uh... I, I want to change my games. Air hockey. Six ball. Four... No. Oh, alright. I totally did not understand what that UI was trying to tell me. <laughs> Whoops. How long until Kyle shows up is the question. How long until Kyle shows up is the question. I really did not get to do anything today. I did. I literally have not gone outside the house today. Because I didn't run today outside. I had I biked inside too. So I didn't even go outside today. Air hockey against Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Nice icon. Nice icon. I see you. This is what, X and A? I always forget. Smash, it's just A. Right. Oh my god, my control is drifting. 
What the fuck? That's not good. Oh, it must it was my right stick that was doing it. Now I'm good, I think? Yeah, now I'm good. That was weird. That was really weird. Okay. Okay, defense wins. Defense wins championships. Ooh, almost. Ooh, defense. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. 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 Defense. Oh, I almost sniped that pocket. Speaking of that, Havens, did you watch any of the hockey yesterday? Bruins won an OT, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Bruins. Let's go, Bruins. Oh, they giving up? I think they're giving up, maybe? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's go. Not a big hockey guy, but congrats. Well, they're, it's against the New York Islanders, so... That's why I'm mentioning it to you specifically. Air hockey champ. So even if, okay, uh, even so, if you were a hockey guy, wouldn't your team be the Rangers though, or whatever the other? Isn't there two New York teams, right? The New York Rangers. That sounds like a team. Am I crazy? That's a team, right? Rangers, okay, cool. Rangers, I imagine, are more of like the immediate New York, and then the Islanders are like, you know, over there. Near the island people. <laughs> Near the island people. But of course, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, the... benefit of being in such a place that is uh stupid and has two teams for like each fucking sport is that you get to have a backup team to root for you'll be bitter enemies until one of you is out of the playoffs and then then you're like nope new york though let's go right like that's that's what happens right rangers yankees giants islanders jets mets yeah, I think I would take the Rangers, Yankees, Giants grouping. That seems that seems a little bit stronger of a pair of a of a trio. Uh, I mean, I'm no expert, but uh, it seems like a stronger trio to me. Pad ad refresh, by the way. How do you feel about the double stam refresh now, vicious? I I almost am annoyed by it. I'm gonna waste, I basically will now be wasting so much stamina doing just like the 99 stam to Maja infestation every day. I don't have time to use almost 50, like 1,500 stamina. I mean, I know I'm a little lower than that because I'm like 490 something stam, but still, it's absurd. Nutty. It's nutty. Damn, no one trying to play these games though? No one trying to play these games though. All right, let's 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 run back the the, the four, four in a row. I wonder if it's gonna be the same guy. Yup, he's hungry. I respect that. I respect that. We need to find Kyle. <laughs> Do some uh, six ball. Shit, I'm first. All right, all right. All right, just gotta keep him honest. Gotta keep him honest. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, that's fair. Most of the time, don't use it because would want to co-op, but farming worth it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a couple spots there, doesn't he? He's got a couple spots there, but I just won, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Run with the points. Run with the points. He's got to be tilted now. He's got to be tilted by now. This guy won twice and ran with the points? Ran with the points? Shit. I don't see how wanting to co-op would um, make you not want to use the stam refresh. Like, what's what's the what would make you not do that? I, I guess I, I'm I feel like I'm missing something. What's missing from that equation? Why would stam refresh existing make you not use it because you want to co-op? Damn, I already kind of have to pee again. You have to play both accounts at the same time. So you just mean purely from like a, I don't have enough time in the day kind of a thing, right? So you just don't even bother. I mean, you could still do them and then just do like 99 ta Tamadra infestation, like button it, you know, a couple times and then boom, you're through four, 400 stam in like five minutes. Even if you're not co oping Well, shit, there's no one on. What about Kyle? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are you doing? What's Dem doing over there? What's Dem doing over there? Pass. <laughs> she? I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a sheesh, but it was funny. Like, oh shit, what's he up to? Hmm? What's he up to over there? Though we do see that Kyle's not even on, so that is also something to consider. Damn. Clubhouse a dead game? Clubhouse usually popping. Usually don't have to wait. Usually don't even have to wait. Maybe we'll have to, uh, maybe we'll just finish up with some showdown and chill or whatever. I mean, I'm not doing four four in a row. This guy wants it. You know this guy's waiting for me. I'm not going to give it to him. I got the two of them, I'm, and I'm out. I got the two, and I'm out, dog. You got to hold that. You got to hold that. Feel me? You got to hold that. Clubhouse is just dead? 
Maybe today, maybe it's just, uh, I don't know. That is a little surprising. Boom, boom, boom. Huh. Well, I don't know. What do we do? I think we might have to pack it. Look at this. There's like no one, like who wants to do fucking Yahtzee? I don't know how the, the system works, but. Piano. Oh, right, there's Spider Solitaire in this game. Klondike Solitaire? Wait, what? Klondike Solitaire. What is this game? I don't know how this game works. I don't know. Have you ever heard of Klondike's Solitaire? Can I just... Oh. Look away from your screen for 20 seconds. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, there's just no... Oh. So you can't stack stuff that's the same color. That's interesting. Okay. That's interesting. So I have to do like this? Oh, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Okay, okay. That means my start is pretty bad, isn't it? That, that can't do anything. Can I go like this? Damn. This seems very uh, RNG. Okay, here we go. Boom. Nine. Can't do anything. Jack. Too bad that ten's all the... Well, the ten wouldn't even matter here either. Nine. Doesn't matter. Three. <laughs> doesn't matter. Seems very impossible to win. What the fuck? How are you supposed to win this? That's insane. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Okay, uh, no, that doesn't even work either. Yo, this mode is trash. What is this? Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything because you can't do that. Oh, that, but all right, hold on. Actually, this can go in here, right? Yeah, okay. Still doesn't really change anything, but eight doesn't do anything. King doesn't do anything. Ten, okay. Can I put this on top? No, right? Yeah. Bro, this mode is. Oh, we can just refresh. Oh, all right. That makes it slightly more interesting that makes it slightly more interesting i mean not that much more interesting but slightly nope nope yep all right now we get to move a card yay uh six well eventually there was those five from earlier but for now not so much Nope. 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 Yep. Nope. Nope. And nope. Reset. Can you just reset infinitely? Seems kind of broken. Six. Nine. Three. Sure. Okay. Six. Oh, I think we found somebody in something. Hey, six ball. Yeah, that Klondike Solitaire mode seems pretty not interesting. <laughs> it seems pretty Resident Sleeper. All right, here we go. Six ball. I'm on the left side. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to do this instead. Uh, it's kind of risky. Here we go. Do this. 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 They kind of started off slow there, which was weird. I don't know what that was about, but... I don't have much here, though. I need to fix things. Reverse pyramid. E. And there was a hexagon, too. Killing it! Okay, okay, okay. They started off AFK for the first second there, so I don't know what that was about, though. So maybe they'll, uh, replay? All right, they're back. Okay, we got we got someone. We got a goober. We got a goober. Left side, left side, left side. Neo. Super speed. Uh. Right, abandon. There's the purple. Um, abandon. Green. Uh oh, might be off on the greens. Wait, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Shit, I don't want to match that. Come on, green. Come on, green. All right, never mind. Kind of have to just abandon it because of the line anyway. Got a line for myself. Um. Probably not a good idea. Okay, I just got nothing right now. I need something. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I kind of made some mistakes. Oh man, there's triple yellow. Alright, I'm gonna do that then. Give myself an out to getting a yellow, please. Yellow, please. It should connect some stuff here. All right, all right. Wow, those reds didn't connect. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, I re this is a bad decision because you don't want to do yellows here because I already just recently did yellows, so that's bad. That's bad. But it's kind of too late, so send it. Hopefully it slows them down enough. Maybe I get... There we go. There we go. There we go. That's gotta be game. Woo! Got out of it. Got out of it. A little scary there for a moment, though. A little spooky there for a moment. Boom, 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 ba -do, ba -do, boom, 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 he wants in. That was a close one. Or she. Or she. Or they. Or whatever. However it works. I'm on the left side. I'm on the left side. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's um, that is a bad choice by me, but saved. Started off hot. Do that, that way I do that, that way I do that. Starting off hot, starting off hot. Starting off hot, starting off hot. Woo -hoo -hoo. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> Not really, that just happens. 
sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you guess the wrong colors and uh, the other person guesses the right colors and gets given like, what was it? I got two double greens in a row or something. Like, that's just luck. That's just luck. Luck, skill, and victory. Well, this is interesting. Three potentials set up. That's nuts. All right, let's do this one, I guess. That way the yellow's still intact. Uh, do the, this one, because then the purple's still intact. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> That's so gross. Oh my god. How are you supposed to survive that? And a pyramid? And the pyramid was ready. Disgusting. That was gross. That was gross. I'll lean myself a little bit to the left side so it's a little bit more obvious which one I am, I guess. Okay, so they went for a quick pyramid so that they would have a response of some kind. So that's fair enough. I don't know what I'm looking to do here, though. Kind of looking to get this uh, two greens in. Damn. I only got one. Green skyfall to the left? No. Alright, that might be the end of me. That might be the end of me. Well, that's gonna help a little bit. We need some blues, maybe. Alright, there's another blue coming, so that's why I went for that instead of going for the red line. Okay, red hexy in the middle. <laughs> Perfect. Red hexy in the middle. Yellow pyramid. Potential. That's actually hard to place. Do that, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I really want this yellow pyramid. Probably was not worth going doing this, but... Just wanted to finish it off. Hell yeah. Hell ye. We've got a duel going. We've got a duel. Man, Havens, you talking about Klondike Bar, though. I haven't had a Klondike Bar in so long. They used to be my dad's go-to. I mean, they probably still would be up there, but... Don't have ice cream that often. All right, green hexy first it is. I would love to get another blue here. Hell yeah. Right back at you. That way my stack up, those reds clear. Double blue, huh? We got a pyramid action. Double red, maybe set up a little pyramid. Not quite, let's just get the blue. Send the blue while it's there. Could have actually gotten a line if I split. I was about to split the red over that uh, triangle that's facing upwards on the left side. It would split them down into both of the holes and be a straight, which would have been really cool. It's a kind of not a move you get to make that often, splitting like that. Ooh, we can handle the heat. That's fair though. All right, I'm gonna go P. Uh, yeah, that is correct. Bathroom.
All right. We got some air hockey. I can't? Oh, they don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. I am right side. All right, that was that was my bad. What? That's fucked up. All There we go. There we go. Keep it together. Oh. What? How does that sneak? Mm, I don't agree with that. All right, all right. We're in it. We're in it, though. All right, we're in it. We're in it. Come on. Stay focused. Here we go. Tied up, tied up, tied up. Oh, they're collapsing. Oh, it's all collapsing. What? Bro, how did that squeeze through? That's crazy. All right, I fucked that up a little bit. Oh, <gasps> we both fucked up all over. That was all sorts of spaghetti. I'm out. I'm out. I ain't trying to. F uh, no way. Not on right side. I I'm bad on right side. Left side is my spot. Left side is my spot. Blue, blue side for sure. Like how in uh, Street Fighter or whatever, I think I was better in the second player's, the right side. I was better on one of the sides, I forget. I think most people are better on the left side because that's the first player side. I think I was better on the right side, maybe? I don't remember. I hope I'm not first. Sweet. What? Are you crazy? Zero hits, three blows. All right. Zero hits, three blows. All right. Blows. So it's, it's yellow, red, something. One hit, two blows. Okay. Right or left. I'm pretty much not thinking at all. Damn, we One suck. Hit, three blows. No, that can't be right. I fucked up. I fucked up. Zero hit, four blows. So that means the green in the second row has to be correct. Yep. Yep. One hit, really? Three blows. One hit, three blows. No. Think it has to be this? Let's go! Four hits. Let's go! I was looking at the previous ones and I was able to figure out which uh, which spots so many marbles games I've never done this game I don't think with a random person before usually it's only been with Kyle so that was interesting do we risk four in a row because it might be that one guy it might be that one guy that, that 
wants the rematch. I'm hoping it's not. Because I like the two... E Alright, nice. It's not the same guy. Not that same guy that we beat twice and ran with the points. Nice. Havens, did you have Klondike Bar as much as a younger person? I'm first, huh? Alright, send it. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. They know, they know. You're more of an ice cream sandwich guy? Pfft. Nah. Nah, ice cream sandwich? No way. I just win, by the way. Didn't matter. If he did the left side, I go right. If he did right side, I go left. I don't... Yeah, I've never been... I've, ice cream sandwiches are pretty mad to me. I definitely remember having them, but... If there was between that and a Klondike, pfft, no shot. I'm going Klondike for sure. And then if it was a, uh, you know what else was good? The things that were the like cookie sandwiches with the ice cream in between, those were good. But have you also ever had the ones that are the giant like Oreo things in between with the ice cream in between? Those are pretty good. I wouldn't say they're necessarily better or worse. I, I still think Klondike, uh, Klond so the problem with the Klondike that you could have is if you well first of all you got to make sure you keep like part of it in the tin foil that you have like opening because if you're just gonna grab it like unwrap it and grab it you're of you're a fucking savage you're you're not even human because then the chocolate's just gonna melt on your fingers and that's just what are you stupid so you have it in the tin foil thing now the problem sometimes would be if if the if you bite into it and it doesn't break the right way and then it like smushes and stuff just like get it just gets all over the place that is a potential but there's someone waiting for six ball so we need to see if uh if they'll match us dabby kong wait we know this guy oh fuck this guy he's gonna play us for five hours but i can't play for five hours so I'm, I'm on the right side. I'm on the right side. Oh, I'm not ready for that kind of speed yet. Okay. can be pyramid that's why I'm going for it instead of matching the greens hell yeah Ooh, got him got him man I haven't had ice cream in so long oh my god I haven't had ice cream in so long nah 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 uh, don't down, don't down Dabby. I, I feel like I remember we played Dabby for quite a while, and there was a bunch of back and forth. This game can be very uh, swingy. Oh, I fucked that up. That's that's just a that's just a go ahead, and I fucked that up real hard. Luckily, I got some spaces open here. Nice. I still have room for this uh, to potentially go off, too. Need another uh, purple. 
Nice. Nice. Damn, maybe I am decent. Maybe I, maybe I am alright. Okay. You finna go to BJ's get a box of 48 ice cream sandwiches? Dude, I, I just feel like ice cream sandwiches are not that good. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. They're, they're, they're sad. They're just n n satisfactory, but they're, uh, there's not, I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't really do much for me. I definitely had plenty of ice cream sandwiches in my day that have been, you know, they've hit the spot, but compared to other like ice creams, I don't necessarily think I would go with that. Them as a top like choice that I'm looking for. Oh, I think he made a little bit of a placement uh, pick up there that he wasn't going for initially. Well, that's a little awkward for me. Um, oh, I can actually go for a purple hexy here. I just need another one. Come on, give me something. Give me, or oh, even a yellow hexy. What the fuck? I wasn't even really trying for that. Oh, but that messed up the, uh, <laughs> that messed up the other one, but pyramid. Fight back. Oh my gosh, destruction. Oh, Skyfall? Wait, Skyfall, he's in it? No. Almost, almost. Do you have, this is an interesting question because you mentioned BJ's. Is B, I, f I feel like BJ's is maybe a Northeast thing? I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like I don't hear people mention it very often. And I know, I feel like there's not that many Costco's around here, which is interesting. Um, so it makes me wonder if that's like, an, you know, sort of an East Coast-ish thing or whatever. I have no idea. This is so close to being what we want, but it's not. <laughs> so close to being what we want, but it's not. I mean, it's definitely a thing in Massachusetts. It's not the greatest line, but uh, I'm going for it because I got a pyramid. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Just going to do that. Clear them. Do this clear. Clear. That. Uh, oh, that can be a reverse pyramid, actually. I can reverse. Glad I paused on that. That was good. Uh, green, not really anything there. All right. NYC thing, most of BK and Queen. Oh, BK. Wait, but we're talking about BJ. BJ's. Oh, you mean Brook? Okay, never mind. I I, I got I reread that too many times and got myself confused. <laughs> I read that too many times and got myself confused. Gotcha. Wow, that's gonna be easy. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna do this. Oh fuck. All right, I fucked that. That that should have been a hexy. I threw. I threw that hexy hard. Super hard. That's too bad. That would have been a nice juicy hex. Yeah, now he's popping off. Now he's, whoa, whoa, what's the lag all about there, sir? What's all the lag about there, sir? All right, clear that. Uh, yellow pyramid, maybe? Sneak it in, snuck it in, nice. It's not gonna save me or anything, but it will clear things up a little bit. Especially if, oh, that green was so close to falling in a perfect spot. There we go. There we go. Um, you know what? Clear. 
Reverse pyramid, perhaps? There's a chance. There it is. Yellow, huh? This green is not doing much. Okay, okay. Yeah, those reds didn't do anything. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just another awkward thing. Just another awkward pairing of stuff. Potential... Oh, that's not going to fall right, is it? Oh, it did. Okay, that's huge. That'll slow him down. He's going to get a line, but it should otherwise slow him down. Okay, yellow, blue. I think I want to save the potential... Uh... Oh, fuck that. That was not what we wanted. All right, I need to abandon. I need to abandon. Oh, shit. No, it doesn't let me get that yellow in for the line. That's it. I choked. I choked. I choked. No. I need another double purple or something. Maybe I could have stalled to the left side, but I, I definitely... There was a couple pretty bad mistakes in there. One at the very beginning, I think. Was that this game where I missed the green hex? Or was that the last one? Might have been the last one. But yeah, uh, I was wondering if BJ's is a northeast thing. Like BJ's the store. Versus Costco. Because I feel like everyone talks about Costco. But I've never actually... Oh, there's Kyle. There's Kyle. But I feel that... I never hear anyone, like, on the internet or whatever, you don't see people mention BJ's. They usually mention Costco. Yeah, more nationwide, exactly. Exactly. Plays blue cross tag on the Switch. Okay. I hope this guy times out, actually. Because then maybe we can play Kyle. Sad that BJ's got rid of the old cafeteria. I mean, I haven't been in BJ's easily for over a decade. I don't remember ever being in one except for a very short amount of time when I was a child. Damn, he took the one point and ran? Or did he have other issues and got disconnected? Got disconnected? Kyle, reveal yourself so that I don't accidentally play a game and then play against someone else. I know you're there. I know you're there, Kyle. Reveal yourself. Otherwise, <laughs> I like, otherwise I can do, because if it is you, if you are, I oh, sneak in, there he is, see, I knew, I knew, that way we can do the, I can do this thing. <laughs> How are you doing? Kyle hates Clubhouse games. Couldn't change your name back yet? Wouldn't change your name back yet? I mean, it's not a bad name even to keep it that way. Uh, is there anything you particularly want to do? I've mostly done six ball, connect four. We actually did one game of, uh, what's this one called? One game of hit and blow. And some air hockey. 22 days left. I don't know if there was anything else really besides those. Whatever, except bowling or darts. You can you can be the one to end my win streak today. I think I've gotten three wins out of three games of Connect Four. Two of them against the same guy. Kyle's always like 10 steps ahead, 500 IQ, so.
I would say Kyle has the advantage because if I go here or here, he's going to have the three up kind of a thing, which is very dangerous. Uh, yeah, very dangerous. I don't know what I'm looking to do now. I don't know what I'm looking to do right now. Yeah, see how dangerous that is now? I go here, he puts there. I put there. I mean, in a way, this is probably not that bad now because he kind of already has the right side win anyway if I put in there, so I might as well do this. Definitely still think he's in the, you know, more advantaged place, though. Okay, so this is tricky. I have to go here. Ah, oh, don't I lose, actually? I go here. You go there. I go there. You win. If I go here. You win. I think you win. <laughs> I think you just win. Right? If I go here, you already have the connect. If I go here... You drop left, I have to hit there, you hit above me, win. Uh, I think so? No, actually. You go, I go here, you go there, I go there, you go there. Uh, I go here, you go there. I, I'm pretty sure I lose the other way, right? Yeah. I think so. I'm pretty sure I'm... Whoa. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. So I lost any... There was like five different ways Kyle wins. I'm pretty sure you could have forced a win though, Kyle, if you went left. If you went left, I'm pretty sure it's a forced win. Kind of like a forced checkmate. Like forced moves. So I'm pretty sure if you went left side, not far, far left, but um, the next one over, you do that. Well, then I would I get the win there, actually, if I do that? So you might have had to wait for me to make a move there. I forget. So maybe it wasn't for us, but if I did any move on the left side, I lost. So. Um... You always like usually doing at least one round of this. The one game I did do of this against a random was interesting because they didn't really try to solve it in the like in a normal way. Like if you were playing one v like by yourself, where like oh do double the same color and stuff. No, they they were doing they were doing all sorts of weird. In this mode, I pretty much look at, at this as you and me doing this as a team, <laughs> pretty much just trying to figure it out quick. Okay, so pink and blue. Okay, that means pink on the second is, yep, good. Red is somewhere. All right, so two are in the right spot. That's interesting. You know this one's pink. We know there's a red, there's a green. We know it has to be the red in the top half, right? Because the reds were in the bottom half, so it has to be there. Those have to be there, which means then this is green and that's blue, right? Oh my gosh. Nice. 
That was pretty efficient by us there. Good work, team. Hell yeah. Nice work. Nice work. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. Alright, which side am I? I'm a left side. Okay, okay. Oh wow, it gave me that? Okay, well. That actually might have fallen in the right place if I had changed that. Ooh, into a line. What do we got? What do we got? Uh. Okay. Give me the yellow. Oh, it's not a yellow. I was one turn too short to have a pyramid there. Damn. Damn. Double blue. I cannot look away. I'm busy. Stop. Oh god, this sucks. I'm not doing anything with these pieces. It's so bad. It's so bad. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Red. Alright, I did something. And you're not gonna get that, that hexy off. No shot. No shot. This purple does nothing for me. I should have known that was gonna mess that up. So that was bad. Okay. Some room there. Okay. Potential reverse pyramid stuff. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, wait, it's not over. Wow, I'm shocked that none of my stuff down there did anything. That's nuts. There we go, there we go. Get some stuff out of the way here. Give me another, give me another green. All right, we got a battle. She, we got a battle? All right, that was a little bit of a mistake. There we go. Okay, blue. Oh no. Blue in the right spot? Oh, so close to being a hexy. So close. So close. That would have been sweet. Uh. No, the next piece isn't a red. I needed it to be a red so I'd get a hexagon. No. <laughs> That's almost assuredly going to be the, d the loss now, I would think. Not like this. Not like this. Please. Please give me blues. <laughs> I was waiting for blues forever there, Chuggers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the first game of six ball. I or no, it's the second game of six ball I lost tonight. How are you doing, by the way? I don't think I usually get to catch you in the, the streams. Kyle got me there. Run it back, run it back. Kyle, you probably put up the best fight of six ball. I haven't done a ton, but. Doing pretty nice. Okay, okay. Oh shit, I over rotated, over rotated. All right, blue hex. Red hex incoming. Oh yeah, we got the hot start. Hop in from nine time to time. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, okay, uh, I'm doing all right. I mean, it's gonna be really hot 
starting tomorrow, which I'm not a fan of. So, yeah, definitely not, not a fan of that, but... That's the weirdest, awkwardest green pyramid over there. Oh, he's looking in trouble, though. Hey, got him. Got him. Yeah, so today's not bad. Well, today is technically not bad. But for me, I mean, anything over... Anything approaching 80 is, is too hot. <laughs> but starting tomorrow and then for four days after that, it's supposed to reach 90. 90? Four days? What the hell are you talking about? That's much too much for me. Now, so much for that part. Yeah, fuck. I kind of fucked that up. Just gotta go for the purple now. Gotta go for the perp. Looks like he maybe had a little bit of a mishap over there too, so I guess that's kind of a good thing for me. Sort of. Alright, so I have potential yellow pyramid. I have a blue pyramid. What latitude am I? I'm in Massachusetts. If that... I mean, I don't know if you still need the answer after that, but... New England. The New England. What am I doing? I'm just standing here not, not pressing buttons. I gotta press buttons. I gotta press buttons. In Ohio, average so far. This? No, I misplaced. All right, that was bad. Mm, do this. Can technically get a blue hexagon, though it has to be perfect. Hell yeah. Just humid? Yeah. Well, so it was. It's been. It was supposed to rain today, or it did rain today. I don't know. But basically, there should be some humidity that is going to be coming along with this 90 degree heat for three days or for four days in a row, which is not ideal. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, I'm going to burn this. There's been no reds coming, so I feel like I got to do that. It's doing a line, so that's not bad. Uh, That was bad, though. What am I doing? I'm throwing. I'm not throwing. Well, I'm throwing. Kind of. A little bit. Uh. Oh, that's, that was a perfectly bad place to put that. Please give me a green. Please give me one green. Okay. That should get some stuff matching together there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Get everything out of here. Perfect. Uh, do this because we have pyramid with double red. Pyramid with purples. Woo! Got him. We're playing against uh, Kyle in the chat, by the way, if that's of interest. What have you have you been playing any games lately? I haven't played this game in a while, but kind of been bouncing around and stuff today. Did some Unity games and then now doing some Clubhouse. So I probably won't be going too much longer because it's already nine, which normally wouldn't matter too much for Friday, but sort of does for this Friday. I have to wake up even earlier than usual. Classic, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's been a thing that's been going on for sure. I don't I can't really speak much to it. I'm not gonna lie. It's never a wower, as it were. Reverse pyramid. Combo the purples. Nice. Sets up a potential. Oh god. What do I want? What am I trying to do here? Probably over here. Yellow pyramid action. No, I fucked it up. Fucked it up. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I should just match this red. Yellow line. You're new, but it's fun to explore. Oh, that's interesting. So you, did you not play the, uh, you like weren't part of playing the original when it came out or didn't play it when initially was out and whatnot? Besides that, been trying to learn Unity. Nice, that's cool. Missed the original. See, that's actually the most interesting thing of anyone that I have heard that has played. Your cat is begging for attention. Because I feel like most people that were interested, I mean, it, you know, it's a remake of an old game, so in theory, you would think that uh, it would be Toy curling. more of a nostalgia thing for most people. That's interesting that that's how it's ended up being, being for you, that, like completely new. Though I would expect also that it's easier for you having, you know, been an existing human when old games were around so you're not as probably turned off by stuff like the graphics or whatever compared to maybe some we like fortnite folk or whatever that was not how i tried to shoot that but i'll take it i'll take it you love the graphics nice Okay. What's Kyle doing over there? I assume he's having controller shenanigans going on. Because the none of that looks good. <laughs> yeah, you know, why can't it go? He can't get strong hits for some reason. Yeah, it's going to be 90 like that here too. Vicious. Something is wrong with that boy's controller. Last three. Wow, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Oh fuck. Last two. I literally saw <laughs> biggest debate in history. Holy shit. Last one. I just have to hit this. Oh my god, look how fucking... Oh my god, did you see how the fucking... Look at the fucking stick! <laughs> that was the shittiest game of curling. <laughs> that was terrible on all sides. Oh, that was funny though. I would be shocked if my Joy-Cons are having drift because I almost, the reason, the only time I'm usually using Joy-Cons are when I'm doing um, D-pad, specifically because I like the D-pad on it. So it would be weird to me that the Joy-Con, which I don't, th I, I don't think it, I don't think it is, but I, it would be hard to tell. That was like watching two monkeys play chess or something. That was rough. Um... Well, if you really don't want to think, there's always war. If you really don't want to think, and you want turn base so you can pet your cat, <laughs> you can always do war. You better get your cat pets in right now. Right now. Right now. I didn't want that too anyway. That's a really bad win for me. Middle card, because I'm winning. Easy. Never didn't have it. Oh. You know, I've been, I've been waiting for this left. I've been waiting on this left one. It's too easy. It's too easy. You're talking to a master general. That's who you're up against. Okay, all right, all right. Got to let him have some, some Ws. Got to make him not rage quit, of course, of course. 
Of course, gotta, you know, gotta get, throw a bone. Throw a bone. Alright, alright, well, I mean, okay, sure, whatever. He's just king out of five. He's wasted his king. It's no, it's no big deal. Middle. Ooh, okay, alright, nice, nice. Saving this one for, oh, alright. Actually, this might be close now. This might be close now. If you win this one, it's very close. I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying enough attention. That might have actually got you in the win. Or tie. Oh, I still got the win. Woo! Better gamer, clearly. All skill. All skill. Um, even though people just got here, I do have to kind of finish up. So, Kyle, what's one? What's a game you want to end on? Or two games you want to end on or something? Because I got to cut up. I think I got to wrap up soon here. Unfortunately, I wish I didn't, but. You know, them's the breaks sometimes. Them's the breaks sometimes. Checkers? Oh, he just said that because he knows he wins checkers every time. Because I'm too I'm too tired to think about it. Oops. Checkers. Not really that I'm too tired. It's just my excuse, of course. Gotta have an excuse because I'm a streamer. Except I'm not a streamer. I'm just a person that is streaming. It's not really the same thing. All right. So the rule I always forget is that if someone goes in a way like a certain way, like you have to jump or whatever, which I always hate. I don't like that rule, but. If you do that, yeah, that doesn't seem okay. So if I, if I did this, you could double jump this way. So that's not good. If you go here, I have to jump. If you go here, I have to jump here, but you won't get a double. So I think I just do this. Am I actually thinking? Oh, but there's that one. Yeah, I did not see that one. I guess that's not so bad. Except now you're going to have that spot. If I do this, you have to jump. Then I jump. That seems okay, right? Maybe? Maybe? Ah, oh, what? Oh, okay. All right. That's not so good. That's not so good. That's not so good. If I move here, this double jumps. If I move here, this double jumps. If I move here, this one jumps. If I move here, this one jumps. kind of keep those two locked down which is cool problem is you can go there so you're gonna get a king or something huh you're gonna get a king or something so if I do this
King me. King me. Problem is that your king, my king can't really. Well, I guess my king can leave. Now I can go this way. you're gonna get two kings no if I do this you can use the king to double jump out king me. so it's not so great for me Okay, okay. King me. I can go there, I can go here. So you can jump there with the king if you want, but then I get your king. You go there with the red. I would jump with the king. Seems okay. Yeah, that's, I, I'd take that. Seems okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. For some reason, I thought that I would be safe doing that. I'm not sure why, though. If I do that, you jump. But then, oh, I guess that gets mine back, but then you get a double jump, so I still lose, probably. Alright. I'm just gonna let you win, because obviously this, one, this one's over, but... There's no way I can win here, so... Like I said, Kyle always wins checkers. I move too fast. Yeah, it's a forced jump, which I always don't like that rule. But it, that is how it is. He's going to get a king, though, isn't he? King me. You never knew that? Yeah, see, I never knew that until the first time I played this game, and then Kyle, like, fucking destroyed me because I didn't know that. <laughs> And I was like, oh, oh, wait, that's bad. Pretty sure he has like an easy way to set something up here. Kyle's is a checkers grandmaster. It should be impossible for me to win here. Ooh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Huh? Oh, did I get you on something here? Did I get you on something here? I may have. May have pulled off a little something, maybe. 
I think I get this piece, right? I mean, I'm sure he's got a plan. Wait, do we just tie at this point until we run, until someone like forces a trade or whatever? Kind of feel like that has to happen, doesn't it? Because now you just can never move the piece. Oh. Doesn't that just mean you... Oh, I see. I see. So now we'll just go back and forth forever. <laughs> hey, we drew. Hey, I had a, I, I did a little bit of a comeback there to try and draw it. I mean, it's weird to say it's a comeback because I, I was like losing, but I guess getting a draw out of that position f would be sort of a win in a way. Not like, oh, I beat Kyle, but more of, um, in that position, it is likely that I lose straight up as opposed to, uh, you know, as opposed to just getting the draw. So, cool. Cool. Yeah. So, a little bit of all over the place Friday today, but that that's okay. It was sort of the plan in a way. Which is fine. Thanks for the games, Kyle. And thanks for stopping by, Chuggers. I, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, I have to go to bed early tonight. I have to wake up Omega early. So, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Pearl L. Indeed. I mean, I technically guess we could raid someone if we wanted. I don't imagine that matters too much though i don't think we will um so we did some unity videos which was good then we did just some hangout and play some clubhouse which means we probably won't play clubhouse for like another month or two when we want to do another little hangout as far as if i i i would suspect if i was a gambling man that probably no stream tomorrow but of course there will be a stream sunday so there is that actually wait wait bruin schedule okay yeah no stream tomorrow <laughs> but stream sunday that's the plan if i did stream tomorrow it's a miracle and and something crazy happened for you and we wouldn't be doing this but anyway uh, yeah, thanks for, for chilling. Uh, I hope your Friday was okay. I hope it was better than mine. I hope your weekend will be even better. And, uh, for those of you in the heat like myself, try and stay cool out there, alright? Have a good one, and I will see you Sunday.